What's going on, Nitro gang? Today is Thursday night, Nitro. And right now, I have a whole bunch of Savages here on the table. Savage XL K5.9. And very, very few people will know which Savage this is. And there's also somewhere hiding, somewhere. Oh, where is it? Let me see. Oh, it's right over here. Savage X4.6, baby. I got savages all over the damn room, guys. Okay, let me welcome you to Thursday Night Nitro. Nitro Chain is here. Nitro Gang, two-speed baby. Let's put the phone in a safe location, and we'll talk about the brand new HPI Savage, and is it actually a Nitro? We will find out. The Nitro Gang, we always do our best to investigate. Give me a second here, I'll set the phone up in a secure position. Very far away from me, look at this. Oh, I'm straining a lot right here, guys. Okay. All right, we're good. All right, give me a second here, guys. We've got too many RCs in the way. Hard for me to even uh, know what I'm doing here. So, thank you all for joining the stream. You know, today I was basically, um, you know, I woke up, I went to work, went to my day, day job sponsor. They're not in the Nitro gang. They're probably in the, you know, make your employees upset gang, so to say. And then what do we have? There's some news on a brand new HPI Savage. Now, of course, we don't have the best details possible. Oh, what just hurt me over here? Was there some kind of thing here on the table? Kind of hurt me. Okay, let me say hi to everyone here in the chat, and then we will discuss what it is we're talking about guys we got oscar Aquendo right here in the house how you doing my dude thank you for joining the stream we got uh jason brinkman two speed nitro right here channel member he goes what up nitro gang what's up everybody and i'll tell you right now everyone that's here guys this video is gonna have a lot of damn nitro content now i was actually gonna talk about some of the nitro repairs i've been doing uh, you know, the Megatech Nitro Razor with the Chris Cianelli engine. You know, the sickening clack on the Kyosho Field Baja Beetle. It's a bunch of repairs going on. But you know what? News came down the pipeline. And I figured, this is a perfect opportunity to talk about it. Don't you think? Yeah, I think so. Okay, we got Sergio M in the house right here. How you doing? Albert Jimenez, the sweaty potato mayor RC is here. Uh, I was fresh right over here. Uh, what's the deal, Brody, he goes. Uh, well, we're going to be talking about a teaser picture on the newest HPI coming out. Let me adjust the camera here a little bit, guys, and then we'll get a little bit of a better view as I show you some high-level Nitro Gang research right over here. My materials, they're super ready, okay? Stay right here. Oh, by the way, don't worry. You're, you're, you're safe. You know who's here? Oh, hold up. Hold up. Don't worry. The ta the chair is going to be occupied. Check this out. Yep. Uh, the chair is going to take care of everything. So we got the Nitro Gang. This is the Nitro Gang chair, okay? All right. Let me move the camera here a little bit, guys. All right. That should be fine. Uh, actually, no. Can we see the Nitro Gang mug? We got to see the mug. There we go. There we go. All right, my dudes. I hope the view is pretty good here. Thank you all once again for joining the stream. You know, today I came home after work. I was like, well, should I go to the gym, you know, or should I talk about Nitro? Well, what do you think we're doing right now? We're gonna talk a lot about Nitro, guys. Because that is number one in this channel. Okay. Yep, Joseph Watkins, channel member right here, says, What's up, Dimitri? Two speed for life. That's right, bro. Okay, guys, let me just give it a, a little bit, couple minutes here before people start coming in and we'll talk about the news. Oh, we got a $5 donation from Nathan Duenas. My dude, thank you so much, man. Uh, the first donation of the night. And guys... Uh, in the title to this video, you see right there it says, Waiting for the Kyosho USA 1. 
Do you want me to get one? Oh, what's up? Mike Neva is in the house right here. Nitro Gang member Mike. Him and I are most likely going to be doing a live video with a Revo probably this weekend. So if you see a live notification from me, chances are we're going to be talking about a damn Revo. You know, because why not? Revo, Revo's for life. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So I will tell everyone about the USA one. You know, I haven't fully said or well to myself yet whether I am totally getting it or I might get it or where the hell is it? Because as we all know, the Kyosho stock status is usually where the hell is it Kyosho? Okay, but we have some evidence right over here in the Nitro Gang literature. We, we will talk about it. Don't you worry. Now for now, let's play a little uh, trivia before we talk about the new details with the Savage. Why don't we? So this one, you probably know what this is. This is the biggest, the baddest, the, the you know, the three-speed baby of the Savage world, right guys? This is a damn Savage XL K5.9, 3.75 horsepower, three-speed baby, okay? That's what this is. Now, I do wish, as I know many of us do, that HPI would bring this one back. But we do have some information about the Savage name coming back. As you saw in the thumbnail to this uh, particular video, there is a teaser of an HPI being back. Now, is it gonna be this beast over here? I mean, look look at this. Look how big this is. If you put it on your head, oh man, I, I actually can't even really put it on my head. Okay, this is what we all want, I think. W what do you think? Tell me what you think in the chat here. Right, okay. Let me welcome you all to a, uh, a Nitro Gang stream right here. We got the cup, cup action, you know. I've been having some coffee out of this right, you know, lately. Uh, two Speed Baby, of course, you know, right here in the cup, Two Speed Baby. You know, but we will turn this around so everybody could actually see it, I think. Right. Okay, people are starting to come up here in the chat. I'm sweating super hard right now. Look at that. My whole hand is basically wet. Anyway. What's going on, Tegrity RC? I'm happy you made it here to the video. In fact, a lot of you guys, I know, today we're discussing one of the topics in this video, which is the release, or more yet, the teaser information on the new HPI Savage. And um, we will take a look, you know, I'll give my own opinion, considering I have basically every single Savage ever made, including, does anybody know which one this is? Tell me right here in the chat. This is your uh, trivia question of the damn day. Okay, we got awesome donation here from uh, Mike Nevis, $5, and of course, $10 from South Latitude 2.0. Guys, you must want me to buy a new Nitro. Is that what it is? I think that's what it is. Well, you know what? If you want me to buy a new Nitro, I guess I have no choice. Do I have a choice? Of course we don't have a choice. The more the better. That's the, re the real answer. What's going on, Benjamin Martinez? I am happy you are here, bro. Actually, Ben the Man Martinez just sent me a picture a little while ago. Uh, he was pretty much hanging out with his own HPI Savage. That's right. So, you know, when you're friends with me, you know, some people send you like dumb gifts, like gifts, you know, the, the word G-I-F. When they have nothing in their head, they send you like dumb gifts of like whatever. Well, the Nitro Gang, mostly Ben, uh, ben Martinez and myself, and that includes Mike Neves, we send each other pictures of like Nitros. Okay, because that's what being a member of the Nitro Gang is about. Uh, you motivate each other to go run a tank of Nitro. He sent me a damn picture of a Savage, and now I'm sitting with a couple Savages. Okay, does that make me a Savage? Yes, it actually does. Savage by association, baby. Oh, Benjamin Martinez, $10 donation. Thank you, bro. I appreciate it. So... Let's see what we got going on. We are up there, 82 people in the live right now. So as we start talking, I'm going to do my best to read some of the comments. I'm following along with my computer here. So if I look down like this, that's because I'm trying to read the comments, okay? Um, I like to give you guys my attention and I know you give your attention to the Nitro Gang. So you deserve it. Either way, so. Right, we got Von Boy, Von Boy right here with a question. He says, I'm struggling since weeks to decide between a Savage X SS and a Savage XL 5.9. It's a hard decision. Well, my dude, this is the XL. Chances are, if you can get one of these, get it. 
because statistically speaking, HPI will most likely never bring this one back. Now, I just don't think it's gonna happen, okay? So if you guys have an opportunity to get yourself an XL in okay condition, get one. Keep in mind, these 5.9 engines, they're very good. You can get like the LRP32 if you need a replacement engine. But uh, they have like what's known as the, whatever. We're not gonna talk about the Savage Lean Tank mod. That will be another video. But all we, all I know is we got people like Rob a Brain here in the chat saying three speed baby. And he's correct. This is a three speed baby. Now I've done a lot of videos on this and I have direct results and evidence through multiple speed runs how fast do you think I got this one to go? It's in a video, so you can go look it up if you don't believe me. Fact check the Nitro Gang, and you will understand that all the facts come back as accurate. This is not like the Armor Gang, where you get one and then you strip diffs and then you lie to everyone about how many diffs you've never stripped. Because we all know, it's like notches on a belt. You just keep adding them in the strip diff department, so to say. Okay, so here we go with the speed, baby, and I will tell you what this one actually got. Um, you guys want me to remove the body while we look over this? So Vincent Aversa says 40, Sean Stapsky says 44, we got Benjamin Martinez 46 to 48, very very accurate. We got Carrie Little says 47 miles an hour. Um, let's see, I'm waiting for a couple more here before I tell you. And I do my testing on the relatively safe side, okay keep that in mind, plus I was using you know, a pretty large camera with a lot of air resistance um, on top to record my actual speed. We got Rob Rain 44, Whiskey Tango 49, Brian Schumann 46, Albert Jimenez 45. So let's take a look at the body and then I'll tell you my actual speed. I'm not gonna say this did a 99. You know, there's some people that'll tell you, hey, listen, they got a 70 mile per hour Savage. Yeah, man, my Savage does 78 miles an hour. It, it's very, very fast. That, that three speed, it's like basically the speed of light. You know, it's there's no three speeds, it's the speed of light speed. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'll tell you what I actually got, because why not? What's there to lie about? Let's face it, any Nitro is cool. You don't have to be better than your armor buddies. You just don't, because you're already better. Okay, so this is the chassis. It's, it's basically incredible. This is a giant ass motor, okay? 3.75 horsepower. Uh, giant fuel tank. They do have like fuel problems uh, called the Savage uh, half lean issue, whatever. We'll look it up. So it's a uh, speed time. I got exactly 46 miles an hour on this through multiple attempts, including 20% nitro and 30% bones brew. So obviously I, once I retuned for the 30%, you know, I richened it. My end result was exactly the same. So uh, 46 miles per hour for this on a three speed and it was I'll tell you this it was very very drivable Meaning I did not feel like it was gonna flip or any of that. What's going on Dale? Welcome to the channel my dude He goes late to the party. What's good? We talking about savages my dude I'm asking people how fast you think this savage is and uh, the, the correct answer many people are very close 46 miles an hour on this beast right here so it's, it's fairly fast, like you gotta understand, to get over 50 on a stock Nitro, it, it's very, very difficult, okay? Uh, plus this is the old one, you know, I'm basically running a very conservative tune on this as well. So don't think it's gonna be like, you know, astronomical numbers. Some people will tell you, hey man, their Savage was, you know, 88 miles an hour. You know, it's gonna go, it's gonna go back to the future. That's just not gonna happen. Okay, so people starting to come into the chat here. Um, you guys want to have a drink? I think we should have a drink. Yeah, we're, we're, we're gonna have a drink. Hold up. Let me move this camera a little closer and we'll, we'll have a drink together. Okay? There we go. There, there we go. What, what are we gonna drink together? I want you guys to all go get a soda, get a Zeltzer, get a vodka, get whatever form of alcohol or, you know, carrot juice you want. That's a reference to a previous video. You know, sometimes I go, carrot juice or vodka. Of course, they always choose the carrot juice because this is, you know, YouTube. Either way, what are we gonna drink? People saying Capri Sun. Well, I wish it was. Today's choice drink is a damn energy drink. You know why? Because this was on sale on Amazon. It was actually very cheap. I had no choice. It's like, if someone gave me a good deal, 
on a damn trade lo train load of Nitro RCs, I'd probably make that deal. What can I tell you? Okay. Yep. What's going on, Milo213? I'm glad to see you here. Man, you guys, you guys have some funny comments right here, man. I'm trying to read some of them. You have Joseph Watkins, rock star, baby, okay? This is like electric flavor. Doesn't even matter. It was on sale, okay? We're talking like $12 for $13. You, you realize how cheap that is? That's cheaper than a Nitro Gang t-shirt right here. We got a good question right here about a savage. Uh, Ismael Sheikh says, would you ever get a Savage Octane? So the Savage Octane, unfortunately, I have never had it. I have never seen it run, but I have read a lot of reviews about it. And the Savage Octane is basically the same chassis as this XL, except with a 15cc gas engine. So 15cc is trash in the Savage, but it, it's okay. The problem was they were very expensive, and the thing is gas engines have significantly lower rpm than nitro motors okay so you're not going to get the same speed actually this nitro savage is about 10 miles per hour faster in top speed than the octane model they both have the same three speed transmission the same chassis um but you know they were just very expensive they were not successful so that's the story of the savage octane of course today you know, if you're looking to buy a used one, you're never going to get one cheaper than 600 bucks, ever. Doesn't mean that it's a great truck. It just means that it's rare. And, and why is it rare? I'll tell you why it's rare. Because nobody bought them, okay? Just because something is rare, guys, doesn't make it very, very good. It just means nobody bought them, okay? Tell me what you think about that, okay? Dale, yeah. Power Rod says, Nitro Grape Juice. So the grape wine is still being made right now. We're not ready for that grape juice yet, so to say. All right, guys. I'm just looking at some of these comments right here. And um, we're about ready to talk about the main first topic of this video before we get into some other interesting points so to say man i just wish it was a little less hot in my room man it's this is killing me right here oh man we got an awesome funny comment right here i'm gonna have to read this one calder ron pr says are you ready for this he says i got the flu shot arma is killing me <laughs> that's a good one man that's a good one What's up, Grandmaster Yoda? How you doing? My dude, Evan Mullaney is in the house. What's going on? By the way, guys, I want to welcome all of the new Nitro Gang members in the Facebook group. I added a whole bunch of you the other day when I told you to listen to join the Nitro Gang Facebook group on Facebook. Later on, I'll put the link in here. I'm just a little bit far away from my computer now. So, let's, let, let's get to this. Let me have a little drinks before, you know, something happens. All right, so on to the main topic of this video. Why is it so damn hot in my room? I'm kidding, that's not the main topic. So here we go, I have a couple printouts here. And this is a teaser picture, right, today. I'll show you guys, many of you probably already saw it. So this is what basically is the thumbnail to this video. This is, you know, it says Savage here on top. You guys see it? Savage. And then there's a picture of a blacked out Savage with what look like the tires look like the Savage SS tires from a while ago. I don't want to say they're these ones. These are called Terrapin tires. Okay. Uh, yeah, we got people here in the, uh, in the chat here saying, Mopar man, I got the email about the new Savages. So guys, if you know any more information than I do, which I, I highly doubt, but it is possible. Some of you UK-based viewers, you know, HPI is headquartered in the UK now. It is possible you have better first-hand information than I do, although it's highly unlikely. My, my damn Nitro Gang research skills are, are top-notch. Okay, so this is the picture. It doesn't say anything other than the name Savage. It's black, it has wheels, ba-boom. We're gonna move on, and then I have more details. It, you didn't just come here to, to look at one picture, guys. 
there, there's like a ton, ton of pictures on this channel, okay? In fact, I even did a little bit of trolling of HPI myself, okay? Because I want the details. So today, here we go. Are you, are you ready for this? There's gonna be some epic trolling on my behalf for all of us, all right? So this is a picture from today that HPI posted. Um, hold on, let me, let me do this, guys. I think I need to get a little bit of a better view. Hold up, hold up a second. Let me move this up a little bit. Oh, we got some camera problems going on here. Hold up, Nitro Gang, hold up. We got this. All right, so let's go back to the picture from today. So this is an Instagram picture that HPI posted today on their Instagram. You could see right here. It says HPI Instagram. What does it say? Yeah, uh, I, I'm following them. I really don't follow a lot of stuff because I just don't feel like it. But let me take the camera here and I will show you guys up close what we're talking about. And you guys will understand. Oh, for now, just it's my face, man. I'm sweaty. Okay, I'm sweaty. What do you want me to do? This is what it looks like. Okay. Okay, so we're going to flip the camera. This is as close as it's going to get right here. So HPI Instagram, I'm following them. And of course, you know, I have a comment right here, guys. I, I commented them and I said, tell us what this is. Why are you trolling like the Tinder girls? Nitro for life or stripped diff electric lipo power? Question mark. What do you guys think about that? Yeah, basically, I said, tell us what this is. Why are you trolling like the Tinder girls? Nitro for life or strip diff electric lipo power? So I'm basically asking them, is this Nitro or is this strip diff city? And uh, you know what? They didn't answer. What's going on, Nitro? Sh Shane Nitro in my veins. My dude, what's going on? So that's my first uh, Instagram uh, troll post for HPI right there. I pretty much went hardcore. Here is the main information. So, you know, where am I getting my source material from? So today... Right over here, it says Thursday, September 16th, right? Today in the morning at 11 a.m. Damn, my finger is dirty from working on too many nitros. Either way, so Big Squid RC, it's kind of like this reporter channel, like blah, blah, nonsense, you know? They have like really petty, tiny information, almost nothing you could ever really enjoy reading on it. But here we go, guys. It says, that's right, folks. The good people over at HPI are now teasing a new... Oh, guys, the, the comments are flooding my thing. I can't read it. Guys, okay, hold on. Blah, blah, blah. The mighty HPI Savage has been a favorite among backyard bashers for years. Now they are taking the Savage to a new level. The next generation of hardcore bashers. Bunch of uh, annoying things. And at the bottom it says, We hear there is crazy power under the hood. But does that mean 6S brushless or even higher cell counts? Well, what do you think about that? They're talking about 6S brushless or high cell counts. Pretty much when I read that, it pissed me off. Nowhere in there did it say any kind of CC displacement for any kind of nitro engine. Exactly, Austin T, he goes weak. Yeah, they're talking about is it 6S or more. Who cares how many S's there are? You know what you can't do to a lipo and feel safe? You can't do this, okay? You want to hang a lipo around your neck and feel safe? You just can't do it. That's why there's no lipo gang jewelry. But there is nitro gang jewelry, so to say. Okay? So, I'm going to put the camera back into its position. And then we will talk about it. Yeah, Nathan Dwayne he goes, facts. That's right, my dude. Check out all the sweat on my face. It's going bad right here. It's pretty bad. Okay. All right. Let's get this back in business. Okay, guys. So... Yeah, uh, Evan Mullaney says Big Squid is anti-nitro. Probably because anyone that's trying to make money in the RC hobby today, other than clearly me, you know, they're uh, basically uh, in the electric crawler gang. But you know what I got to say to the electric crawler gang? Where's my shirt? Where's my other shirt? Are you ready for this? You guys all know what this is. So this is what, what this channel has to say to the electric crawler gang. Hold up, hold up, hold up a second. By the way, this shirt is available for sale. Link right below this damn video. Right here, crawler free zone, baby. Okay, that's what it has to say. 
What do you think about that? And on the front, of course, we have Two Speed Baby. Now, I would be wearing it right now, but I'm sweating pretty seriously right now. Okay. Yep, Integrity RC says, turn the AC on, bro. The AC is uh, working hardcore right now. This, this, this room just has really poor uh, thermal insulation. That's actually the whole situation. But unfortunately, I need to use it because we also have very good lighting in here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, everyone telling me to put the AC on. The AC is on. You know, wish it was off so we would have more money for nitro purchases. Uh, but it's just not how it is. Yep, profusely sweating. What can you do? All right. So, guys. That's the news about the HPI Savage. I did my best to troll their Instagram account. You know? And uh, they didn't reply. So, you know what I said? Gonna, we're going to talk about them in a video. We're going to talk about them, okay? Yeah, let me go to some of these comments here. I'm pretty sure people are going to like it. Bo Bobby, warm Bobby, what's going on, my, brood? He, my dude? He goes, side effects of the vaccine, bro. Yeah, that's right. I actually got the Johnson & Johnson vaccine a while ago. And I will tell you, for about two days, I felt like a uh, menopausal woman, okay? Or is that post-menopausal? I don't know. I'm not a woman, so who cares? Um, by the way, if Wolfna Chicks comes to this chat, comes to this chat, we're all going to be happy. It's all about those orphan chicks, so to say. Okay? Yeah, Austin Tigo is going to overnight some ice, bro. <laughs> yes. So I'm pretty serious right now. Okay. What about this particular one? No one's asked any questions. Guys, what, what's going on? Um, this is actually the first ever... HPI E Savage. Th did you even ex know that an early version E Savage used to exist? This is not like the Flux. There's no HPs in here. This is basically a collectible HPI E Savage. Some people knew. I don't think many did. Um, it is kind of like a. Uh, I don't want to say it's an Emacs. I'll show you guys under the body and you'll understand. It's actually very, very cool. Yeah, here we go, here we go. Yeah, Tyler Parker is correct. He goes, twin brushed motors. That's right. So, just because it's an electric doesn't make me not, doesn't make me not, well, well actually hate it, doesn't make me hate it. Uh, this is still a collectible HPI. It has a place in the RC history, and that's how we will remember it, okay? And you're allowed to have some electrics keep in mind i never said zero electrics no one ever said that okay so the body very very good hpi is known for awesome bodies and they did not disappoint so whoa melting over here guys melting so this is the chassis it's a twin motor single esc unit these are pretty large 550 size motors guys uh very very rare there are very few of these ever for sale on mine. It is, it is like new. So this was the first electric Savage. Back when, you know, they thought that cloning something to look like an Emacs was a good idea. And actually it was a great idea, but it just didn't succeed because the Emacs, you know why? Emacs had a two-speed baby. This has one speed. So it's just two motors, one ESC, but one speed. For me, pissed me off a lot, but I still like it. You know, suspension-wise, let's see. You know, it's it, it, it's very rough. But I don't have batteries in here right now. So this also runs dual packs. See right here on the side, we have two Tamiya connectors. So this runs dual packs. It's actually very, very cool. Uh, someone's saying, what ESC is that? This is the original ESC. Let me read it. It's a HPI Racing. Right here. You could take a look. HPI Racing. GT speed control. So this is all original. Okay, right right here And um, It runs pretty good. It's just you know with, with like the, the regular batteries. It's slow of course, but it runs really really good uh, It's still a very rare collectible HPI and just because of that, you know uh, I have it and You're allowed to have a bunch of rare electrics 
and not have a count against your four to one nitro to electric ratio. Okay, guys, you're allowed to have that. Okay, let's see who we got here in the chat and then we will continue with the discussions because we still have some pretty interesting information right here. You see in the title to this video, it says save $150 on a new HPI Trophy 4.6. Now, this is not a troll video. Nothing here is fake. You could actually save 150 on a brand new HPI Trophy Truggy 4.6 right now. Now, I own one. I bought it a while ago. I haven't unboxed it yet because I just don't feel like it, but I will in the future. And in a minute, we will talk about it. Just give me a second here. We all just got here, okay? Let me enjoy my drink, guys. Yep. Mark Schumacher right here. He goes, 78 mile per hour savage, baby. <laughs> Dude, you have no idea how many times I heard that. No idea. I don't know how they're getting 78 mile per hour savages. In fact, I don't know how anyone's getting over 50 on any savage without hardcore modifications. You know, I topped out at 46 on this three speed XL on 30% nitro with a very good tune. So, and, and honestly, that extra five miles an hour, the only way to get it would be with gearing. And you actually run into a lot of problems when you try to install uh, taller gears in the XL model because they use a very thin metal spur gear. And the clutch bell, you also cannot go with a much taller clutch bell because the engine is so huge that this engine sits all the way like on the side of the twin vertical plate chassis. There's actually almost nowhere that you can go with gearing other than getting a very small spur gear, in which case you will have clearance issues. Guaranteed, if you want to try it, feel free to say I told you so later. Well, I, I will, you know, you, you'll say you told me so, rather. Okay, Bob's RC right here. Kyosha just released the video on the USA one. So yes, they did release a video. I also trolled a bunch of their comments on Instagram and all over. I got, I trolled them all over, just, just so you know, but I do it on behalf of the Nitro Gang, everybody. It's not for fun, it's for us all, okay? So, let's see who we got else uh, in the house here. Exactly, I waited, I was waiting for someone to say this, and um, someone did say it. Grandmaster Yoda here says it was the VE USA one, that means it was the electric. So Kyosha recently released a video. Whoa, it's profusely sweating over here. Kyosha USA one, but the electric. So basically, who cares? That's like saying there's another 8S Arma. Oh, there's a 10S Arma. Oh, there's a 12S Arma. You know what I say? Okay, well, we can't curse. We're just going to say who cares. That's what we're going to say. Okay, guys. Um, let's continue. I think it's time to talk about you guys want to save some money on the Savage? Uh, what am I saying? On the trophy? Save some money. Okay. So we talked about the new HPI, you know, whether it's going to be Nitro. And uh, guaranteed, it's going to be an electric for sure. Now, do I care? No. Therefore, we just don't care. Okay, that's not even news to the Nitro gang. Oh, what's going on, RC Crazy Mike, man? How you doing, my dude? Uh, we got RC Crazy Mike in the house right here with a five dollar, five pound donation. Kyosho go kart, baby. Yeah, he recently got a super cool Kyosho go kart. Um, actually, hold on. I might have a special surprise for you today, bro. Let me see where is it. I put it somewhere. I'm not sure where it is right now. It was actually a mention of the Thunder Tiger EK4 in a magazine again, which I know is uh your favorite. So maybe I'll go and look at it in a second. But for now. Let's talk about what we got going on here in the rest of the damn stream, okay? Um, yeah, crazy Mike is in the house, that's right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. people talking all about Ofna. Yeah, man, Ofna was, was basically uh, king. And in a little bit, I will do my random RC magazine of the week. Of course, they're all going to have a ton of nitro, so no, nobody's going to be upset. Okay, we're all going to be super happy. By the way, if you're not happy, take a look at this, okay? Savage XL 5.9, three-speed baby. Uh, confirmed top speed, 46 miles per hour. Not 78, like people claim. And yes, actually, I think the fastest Savage is 78 miles per hour. There was a YouTube video on it, but it was a highly modified Savage. 
Don't think it was a regular Savage. That's like saying, listen, I have a car, you know, a car that does 300 miles an hour. And then not mentioning it, that it was like some kind of land speed record setting car. And just calling it your car. Like, you can't do that. You don't have the right to do that, okay? So, anyone that claims their Savage is over 50 miles per hour, like on the, on the XL, they have some serious modifications. This is just the reality. Okay, 78, you're not getting 78, guys. Yeah. Okay. So, about the ne next topic. Save 150 on a new HPI Trophy 4.6. How are you going to do that? You guys want that car? You should get it. I got one. I just haven't opened it. I'm actually looking right now. Like, if you look at my eyes, I'm looking at the box that it's in right now. But I'm not going to open it. Why? Because three-speed baby right over here okay what else you need to know okay so currently let me show you what's going on right now okay so this is the current listing for the savage uh what why do i keep saying for the trophy truggy 4.6 you guys see hold up let me let me adjust the light so this is the current listing it's $609 right now on the HRP website. The HRP is the USA distributor. $609. Do you know what I wanna to do to this piece of paper? I think, you, I think you all will know what I wanna to do to this piece of paper. That's what I wanna to do to it, okay? And I did it. So, 609, that's what the manufacturer wants you to pay for that 4.6 trophy truggy flop. Tro Man, 4.6, 4.6. Now here, I was able to find, you guys, a very good deal. Now the link to this deal, you could save $150 right now, order it right now. Uh, there's a Nitro deal right in the description to this video. It's a link to get this right now. So go get it. Don't even wait. Actually wait, but open up another browser window and get it right now. Okay, don't, don't close the stream because then I'll know you're gone, okay? Uh, I know everything. So this is the current deal for the HPI Trophy Truggy. Do you see that price right there? What does it say? Well, to me, it says 459, baby. That's right, 459 for exactly the same truck. There's like nine of them in stock right now. Uh, free delivery in stock right now. If you're looking to get one, you could legit save $150 right now you don't have to wait for like when Kyosho stock status updates whenever they feel like it you don't got to do that just go get yourself one right now in a new browser window okay don't don't close this browser okay let's move on so, so pretty hot in here all right hold up guys hold up give me a second I gotta look for uh some stuff Okay, well, I don't know where it is right now. Um, all right. Next topic of conversation. You guys could pick one. Do you want an update on the Megatech Nitro Razor that I was working on recently? Or do you want an update on the Kyosho Sickening Clack Edition Baja Beetle? One of them I would have to go get. Okay. So let's see what you guys want to see. Yeah, for sure to both. Well, I don't have enough space on this table for both. They're going to have to fight each other. Okay? Clack time. People saying they want to see the sickening clack. Well, I'll get it for you. It's not far away. Okay. Sickening clack time, guys. Are you ready? I'm going to show you right now. So here it is. This is the only car I have ever had that when you read a review about it, they say get ready for the sickening clack. Now what that refers to is this damn car has no brakes. That's right, there's legit no brakes, okay? So let me remove the body here and I'll show you some of the updates I did. By the way, this is a 1997 Kyosho. I'm missing the bumper here, unfortunately. 
I had to also design my own exhaust. You could tell it's sticking out of the damn car. So I'm gonna have to figure out some way to, uh, you know, get that situated or find the original pipe somehow. So with the body removed, this is the car. Oh, oh, fuel tank right over here. So basically I was uh, soldering it. I had a fuel tank leak, so I had to solder it. Okay, currently I am running a separate fuel tank. I think this is from a uh, RC10 GT or a low C. Yeah, it's, it's one of those. Anyways, it's a very old uh, tank, but it's very, very good. So this car, right, I basically used an old Traxxas pipe here. So I never throw anything out. Like I know sometimes when you guys donate, I do wind up using a whole bunch of stuff. So this is an old T-Max 2.5 plastic pipe. I designed my own silicone coupler, right? I'm testing my own coupler design and I also made my own air filter element right over here. So I actually did this myself. And in the future, once I am confident that uh, both serve their purpose as well, I will tell you guys how to also do that. Either way, this car, if you read the review on it, uh, they tell you, don't worry, it's just got a sickening clack it's got no brakes and this boat has no anchor. Those are actually the words and sentences they used in the review of this 1997 Kyosho. Sickening clack and boat has no anchor. Man, it was, it was, it was super, super funny. So what happens is this is what they call the QRC. By the way, this is a fan. I just posted a video on my Instagram about how this fan works. So if you wanna, you know, watch that video, add me on Instagram. My, you know, Instagram account is basically this YouTube user name channel. It's the same thing, hybrid32494. Okay, it's the same everywhere. So, uh, the fan does almost nothing, but it looks cool when it's spinning. Yeah, Joseph Watkins says, why do I love that car? Maybe because it's got a super clean, original Kyosho .11 engine. .11, baby. The online hobby guy, what's up my dude? He goes, quick reverse clutch, that's right. So this car was known as the QRC. So basically, this entire transmission has no brakes. The way it works is, you apply throttle, you get throttle. Now when you go back, you know, you apply, I guess you could normally brakes on the remote, you actually get reverse. So it automatically engages reverse, and just, th there's no brakes. So I tested this out the other day and soon I will do a live video demonstration on what it's actually like to drive a car. Let's say you're going forward. Okay, you gotta stop, right? You can either roll to a stop, you have a rolling stop. Um, yeah. Yeah, RC Crazy Mike says it's great RC for back in the days. Yeah, this was super revolutionary when it came out. Like reverse, th this reverse system came out before the T-Max got reverse. So keep in mind, you know, I'm talking about it like this, like it doesn't matter, but uh, historically, this was actually a very interesting system. So 0.12, one speed is all you need. They chose to give you reverse instead of brakes. That is some decision, Kyosho. That is some decision. And you know what? Kyosho's still alive, and they're still trolling everybody with the USA one. Can we actually get one? So that's the next topic of this video, let me put this aside, and we'll talk about the USA one. Okay guys, give me a second here, I am going to uh, go find a random vintage RC magazine, and then I'll be right back, okay? Don't anybody leave. I know exactly who's in this chat and who's not here. By the way, keep looking at the Savage. Buy one. They're very good. I'll be right back. Give me 20 seconds.
I am back. Don't you worry. I'm right here. Okay, guys. I am right here. It looks like everyone is here. You guys are trustworthy. Not like the Arma gang or the x Max gang. The last time I drove uh, my t Max on x Max across on the track, the guy drove right over me at top speed, destroyed my damn t Max. Can't trust those guys. Okay, so this is a vintage, what year is this? 2002 Radio Control Car Action Magazine. And it looks like I have a couple tabs here, don't I? Well, one of these tabs is for you, RC Crazy Mike. It's your most common request. So we're gonna get to this in a little bit, and of course we'll look over it. There's gonna be a bunch of damn Nitro in there, guys. I know Austin T, this is his favorite uh, part, old RC magazines. Mine too, guys, mine too. So, first, what do you wanna do first? Should we, actually, I'm gonna give you an option. Everyone here has an option. This is a damn democracy. You know, we're, we're not dictators here. We only dictate that Nitro is greatness. That's the only dictation we have, okay? So, you guys got an option right here. Should we talk about the Kyosho USA 1? And we'll talk about everything. You're not gonna miss out. Kyosho USA 1, or go straight to some awesome RC magazine. By the way, the top of this title here, it says, what does it say? Uh, free horsepower, make your Traxxas engine kick ass. You see right here, free horsepower, make your Traxxas engine kick ass. So it looks like we got a good even distribution of people to wanting to talk about the USI one and their Traxxas engine kicking some ass. So what, what am I gonna do? Okay, well, I'm gonna think about it. Oh, what's going on off the chicks? Off the chicks right here says, can we see some skinny chicks selling bearings? Well, just for you, Ofna Chicks, I almost guarantee you, we're going to see that in this magazine. And you know what? Just because so many people... Oh, oh, spilled some drinks on here. Okay, it's, it's, it's fine. Just because we have some... Um, well, the magazine's right here. Let, let's talk about the magazine. We're going we're gonna to get it done. We're, we're going to do it right now. Let me adjust some of this table stuff. Okay. So, first, we will go straight to. Okay, hold on. I'm not sure where it is. We will go straight to uh, the first tab. Okay, guys. Let's do this. Ah, okay. People really want those off, my chicks. Man, how can I blame you? To find the girl that's into Nitro, the probability of that is, is probably less than half of 1%. Okay, if you find one, you keep them, yo. You, you, you keep them. Okay, so we're gonna do a camera flip. Still sweating like crazy right here. Yep, here we go, baby. So, this is Radio Control Car Action Magazine. Free horsepower, make your Traxxas engine kick ass. Guys, would they ever put this on a modern magazine? The answer is definitely not. Okay. So let's go to the first tab I have, I have here. So the first tab is a Yokomo GT4. So this video is not currently out. I just released it to my uh, Patreon supporters. And you guys saw me running a damn Yokomo GT4. So that video will be out this weekend. Don't you worry. No one's going to be pissed. Okay, here we go. Oh, what's up, Texas Hill Country Custom Homes? Thank you, he says, this is the best channel. I'm glad to have all of you guys here. Let's go to this next tab. Oh, what is that? Speed limit, two-speed baby. Is that what that says? Yeah, speed limit is two-speed baby. That's for you, RC Crazy Mike. What do you think about that? I was able to find a super old ad. A uh, full page ad, honestly, with two products with Thunder Tiger, that is that is very rare. Usually Thunder Tiger has like a one page ad on everything. So this is at the time the new powerful EK4 S2. 0.70 engine, pure power. So Thunder Tiger, EK4 baby. Basically uh top level RC collectible. I know a few people have them already. RC Crazy Mike says motorcycle next. We'll get to the motorcycle, don't you worry, we're gonna get there. So, seven large capacity shocks, right? 
uh, shafts, four wheel drive, blah, blah. Basically, the, the claim to fame on this thing was the .70 engine. Now, these had a helicopter engine, so it was actually fairly low RPM, but it had high gearing. I remember this run like I saw it once in my life when I was young. And uh, it was basically like at a baseball field, and the guy just started it up because he saw I was running a uh, Nitro RS4 at the time. He started it up, put like half a tank in, did one run, came back, it was out of fuel. Okay, so that was that was basically it. Um, you know, today they're fairly collectible just because they're very famous for this .70 engine. Thunder Tiger also had a whole bunch of motorcycles. Now this one is electric, but I do have a nitro one uh, in this house and it's not mine. It belongs to Benjamin Martinez, a member of the Nitro Gang. There are a couple videos of uh, me actually starting it and I'm hoping soon, once I master driving it, we will be running the damn motorcycle, okay? So, for off the chicks, the request was to find some chicks selling things. Well, here you go, off the chicks. What do you think about that? This is an ad. Oh, we actually got two pictures of the same chick. Guys, I, I remember looking at this page when I was a kid and can't really say what I want to say. But basically, some people here in the chat are already saying it. So, Peak Racing, pretty good brand. I actually had a couple of their uh, batteries years ago, uh, I think for an Emacs at that time. And check this out. Man. This is, I think, one of the best uh, magazine chicks ever. We can't call her an Ofna or a bearing chick because she's not selling bearings. So this is an, a new, highly specialized type of chick. One that sells, I'm not even sure, I guess, electric RCs or something. She doesn't directly sell it. But, you know, they put her on a page right next to the Ofna Monster Pirate. So that's actually kind of cool, you know? Yep, what do you think about that off the chicks here in the chat? We got some peak racing chicks for you, okay? Yeah, so it looks like uh, they're talking about the low C triple XT. So the XT was the, the regular truck, the NT was the nitro model, okay? Let's keep going. So that was the first chick of the magazine. There's bound to be more. Man, this is like, you never know what you're gonna flip to. Oh man. Yeah, Joseph Watkins like the RC magazine time. That's right. That's right. Me too. This is the original T-Max, guys. The original Nitro four-wheel drive two-speed with reverse. Um, Pro 15 engine. I actually have one of these. And my Nitro boat has this engine in it too. E-Max. Uh, this is just some uh, micro stuff. I have um, HPI micro RS4. Yep. Here we go, we got, uh, these are Kyosho Mini Z, I think. So years ago, Kyosho, uh, while they were trying to discontinue all of their nitros, they were also trying to sell you a bunch of little micro RCs, okay? Uh, we got a tank, and guys, we have come to a car. This right here was my first ever, well, not this body, but this HPI Nitro RS4 RTR3 was my first ever nitro rc ever in my life if it wasn't for this um we will, might not be watching this today so notice right here it says more power no belts and rs4 appeal so this time the no belts was a super big thing because the old rs4 had belts and guys years ago rc magazines they had tons of pictures okay look at look at this i actually have one of these this was going to be the topic of one video but I uh, changed my mind, then we, we will have to come back to it in the future. Okay, so it came with the HPI 15, FE 15. This car was known for a shaft drive. So before this chassis, the RS4 was all belts. RC Show Off says, I have the exact same car, still have the Viper body. Yeah, you just can't kill it, you know. Guess what? These Nitros had diffs too, but you, they weren't armor quality diffs. They were very good diffs. So, most important thing here, we have ourselves... A little bit of uh, speed testing results. Okay, so RS4-2 stock, it says it was 28 miles an hour. RS RTR3 uh, with a mod, I don't know what mod means, 40 miles an hour. Old versus new versus modified. What does that mean, modified? Oh, it looks like with a two-speed tranny, it's saying, but it lacks a two-speed tranny. So they're saying, uh, then I tested the RTR3 after installing the two-speed the two-needle carb and two-speed tranny. 
Honestly, it could have been faster than 40. I don't know. But uh, yeah, so they're saying that with this old 0.5 horsepower engine and a two-speed and a two-needle carb, they were able to hit 40 miles an hour, which honestly is not bad. You know, the TC3 at the time was, was probably a little faster than this, but the TC3 was a little bit more money. And this was just a single speed when it was uh, new. But still, this was like the beginning of Nitro for me. And I know for a fact many, many, many other people. Let's keep going here. Uh, so I'm basically standing over this magazine in a super comfortable position. Oh my God. We got some Nitro greatness. This this, this is blowing me away right now, guys. Yep. RC. Yeah, there we go. Uh, this was actually my first ever Nitro RC. This exact body. Look how good looking that is. The Chevy Camaro SS. Third generation RTR. This was the chassis. And guys, I actually have this in my house right now. Unfortunately, the guy I purchased it from, he must have been a total noob because he cut out the whole rear window and the body mounts are in the rear window. So he basically destroyed the entire body. Okay, at the time, also the Dodge Stratus was super popular. And uh, I don't know why the Dodge Stratus was like such a big thing because the car itself was actually piece pretty crappy. Maybe it was cool looking for the time, but I just I just don't remember the actual car in real life being cool. They used to use them use them in like NASCAR racing. That's probably because Dodge paid them a whole bunch of money for uh, like deals like that. But other than that, they were actually pretty trash. The, the body to have was this Camaro SS body. Oh my god, it's 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 amazing. It's amazing. What's up, Vincent Martone is in the house. How you doing, bro? Glad you can make this stream. All right, let's keep going. This is an Ofna Pirate 10. Basically, Ofna used to like uh, taking a whole bunch of buggy chassis, putting motors in them, and then giving them scary names. Like Pirate, like Mutilator, like Dominator. Man, I, I could just keep going with Ofna buggy scary names. Okay. Sean Block, he goes, man, I love your videos and how your streams. I've been watching your Nitro videos for a while. Thank you, my dude. I, I'm really happy you're here. I'm glad you're appreciating the Nitro Gang material. You know, collecting old RC stuff like this actually takes takes up a whole bunch of space. What's this? Sen? Oh, oh, Sen, guys, Sen. I actually recently purchased the Sen. I, I always like Sen, like, uh, not for, like, racing and not, not in a way that they're better than others. They're definitely not better, but they're just different, man. Sen used to do things the way they wanted to do it. If they wanted to give you a uh, free two-speed, they gave you a damn free two-speed, and they said free two-speed. Okay, who else says that? That's like, you know, that's like Trax is saying free two-speed for the T-Max. Imagine they did that. You'd be like, shut up, Trax. Just get out of here. You break all the time. Then I would have to probably fight you if you said that. But uh, let, let's hope it doesn't get to that. So, yeah, send, you know, not only did they give you a free two-speed, they made you know that it was damn red. The, the, the colors of the gears were freaking red. And they gave you a zebra on the body right here. Someone just said, what is that, a zebra or a rhino? Looks like a rhino. And a send fun factor with a rhino. And I don't know where they got a lot of these uh, ideas from or not. RC Crazy Mike goes two-speed baby. Yep, free two-speed baby. Right here, free two-speed baby right here. Pretty interesting. This is uh, Corali, some high-level electric pan race car. Personally, I never got into this, like, at all. I know almost nothing about it. And you know what? I'm honored to say I know nothing about it because I don't need to. We got a uh, Kyosho something, probably electric. Yeah, but basic electric Kyosho right here. No one cares. Let's keep going. We got a uh, Mini Z, very popular at the time. HPI Micro RS4, baby. I know this is an electric, guys, but I actually have two of these. And I might be getting a whole other one soon. We will see. Um, this was the size. So if you notice the size of the Micro RS4 compared to a 110 scale, you know, it's completely small. I actually used to race these in a competitive class years ago. This was the only class I ever raced in because they, they were just, you know, cheap to run. You could still compete with a stock one of these. You know, the buddies that you ran with, basically all they did was put in like a $25 modified motor and like rechargeable batteries and you were competing. It was really cheap to compete with some of these. You know, I, I don't mean like high level competition, but like, you know, uh, drive around. We have some Duratrack stuff. Oh, OS engine, Max 21. 
Yeah, I really don't know much about it other than OS is, uh, is boss. Okay, that's all you need to know. OS is the king. Oh, we got some, what is this? They downgraded to this chick. We got IMAX radio control with a chick holding some giant wheels on a T-Max. What happened? They couldn't afford a better one over here. Off the chicks could have beat this one. Yeah, off the chicks could have definitely beat that one. I mean, that doesn't even make me want to buy it. Okay, let's keep going. This is like towards the end now. Here we have some Kyosho Trinity. No, what is this? Trinity Reflex and T. So I saw someone here in the chat a little bit ago asked about the Kyosho V1R, which is an on-road uh, Nitro. And uh, I, I've never seen one. And usually they're very, very expensive. So, you know, chance of me getting that is probably close to zero. Let's keep going. Oh, Megatech Gladiator. Guys, I had this on this channel in the last stream, guys. This was in the last stream. This thing is amazing. Okay, we're going to run it soon. We're going to run it soon. XTM. XTM had some awesome ads. Oh, by the way, the engine I'm wearing, check this out. I'm going to show you right now. What does that say? XTM, baby. On my damn, damn nitro engine necklace. We got an XTM. Okay? Because you just can't kill a nitro. When they get old, you just wear them like jewelry. Okay, we got some off-road racing. Blah, 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 blah. It looks like we're going to get to... The upgrade article right here. The port and polish your Traxxas TRX-15. So they're telling you, you got to basically ruin about five motors to understand kind of what you're doing. Um, but basically, yeah, so they're saying you can port and polish it. So this is what it looked like before here on the left. And on the right, they uh, removed some material uh, by grinding. Then polishing, basically, I never did this, you know, because... You know, I don't really have any nitro motors that I just want to throw out like that. That's basically the, the reason. But they have a results here. So very interesting graphs. I'm looking at it right here. So behind the wheel and the radar. So on the bottom, this red T-Max on the bottom, you could see that in five seconds, it's covered a lot more ground uh, than the top on blue. Vincent Martone says, is po polishing, porting really worth it? The answer is you really have to be kind of like a near expert in it you know from what i've heard most people ruin their first and second and third motor when they try doing it okay so this was the car that was on my channel the other day i'm currently working on this exact one the megatech uh, nitro razor xt we're gonna make nitro great again and honestly this thing is is basically a beast i am surprised by how beast status it actually is it is uh very beastly some would say what is this uh some kind of I don't know what this is. It's a cover. Um, Serpent, Impulse. We got probably the best engine at the time ever made right here. The OS 15 CVR. It says the mounting size of a 0.12, the racing muscle of a 15. I had this exact engine when I was younger. Yep. RC Crazy Mike says Nitro is great already. That's right, man. So this engine, I actually had it when I was young, guys. And uh, it, it, it was incredible. It was, it just started so well. It ran so well. You never even had to like even check the temperature on it. It, it was just so good. You know, what do we have here? Stock suspend install pro lines, max performance suspension kit. Yeah. So pro line had a lot of upgrades for the tracks series years ago. It was a lot. Yeah. Brian Schumann says that he ported and polished his Pro 15 years ago and he had awesome results. Yeah, some people, you know, I guess you got lucky or you knew what you were doing. You know, I don't want to say you got lucky. There is no luck in porting and polishing an engine. It's basically skill. So, man, that, that's awesome. That, that's actually good to hear. You know, I never did that because my goal on this channel is to run as close to stock as possible. Uh, just because that, that's what I like doing. Oh, we have some awesome vintage RC ads. I used to go to this hobby store years ago, guys. It was in Manhattan, America's Hobby Center. They sold a lot of Megatech products. So I had this exact one on my channel a while ago. They also sold a bunch of SH engines. These were called Megatech SH engines. So in reality, they were just SH engines. And you know what? For the money, 
you could not beat them. They, they were very good motors for the money. Let's keep going here. I don't know what this is. Uh, we got some fuel stuff, temperature, temperature meters. I had one of these years ago. Let's keep going. Oh my goodness, old Tower Hobbies ads. This is basically Nitro Gang uh, History Gold right over here, okay? Um, this might be the worst Nitro ever made in terms of features and price, but I actually had this and I loved it, okay? So even though I say it's the worst, understand I don't actually mean it's the worst. I mean in terms of competition and features. It was made to be cheap for a reason, okay? You see the price right here? The pre-built was only $139. Okay, $139, and it came with everything, including the motor, other than the radio. So $139, what do you expect? Okay, it was awesome. Oh, what's up, RC Crazy Mike with a $10. He goes, to make Nitro even greater, baby. Well, my dude, we're going to do that, you know. We got savages all over right here, and we're still not even done with this damn video. Look at all the Nitros we got going on. Well, this is not a Nitro, but it's sitting on a Nitro. Uh, so it's it's pretty awesome. Thank you, my dude, RC Crazy Mike. So back to this, man, there's nothing like looking at an old uh, RC catalog of Tower Hobbies years ago. This, this was like pretty much amazing. Let's see what else. Maybe we could find some older prices for stuff. Okay, I, I always like to reference how much things were back then. Here we have the HPI Nitro RS4 Pro 3. The, so the, Pro, yeah, no, they call it the Pro 3, but it says it comes with a 0.15, so actually, 0.15 in a Pro 3, that, that was not a thing. For some of you guys that know, oh, Dale, $5, let her rip. Thank you, my dude. You get a freaking Nitro Gang thumbs up. Thumbs up for you, Dale. Okay, what do you think about that? Okay, back to the discussion. So if you guys know, the HPI Pro 3, take a look at this. By the way, uh, Traxxas Nitro Fortec, super cool. The electric Fortec, don't care about it, but the body was cool. So the HPI Nitro RS4, it says 0.15 engine, but the thing is this never came. The Pro was the electric model. I had it. I had the Pro 3. It was awesome. Okay, I probably had a bunch of these RCs. Here's the HPI Super Nitro RS4. I have it right here in this room somewhere. I just can't see it right now. Oh, you guys want to see it? I have the HPI Super Nitro RS4, so get ready. Uh, my room is a little bit dirty, full of nitros. But boom, there it is. HPI Super Nitro RS4. And right over there is a Schumacher with a three-speed baby. So guys, believe me when I tell you, oh, that's my swimming shorts, okay, in WD-40. That's how I live my life, okay? Uh, put everything together, swim shorts, uh, WD-40, Schumacher XTR3E, engine is all out of it. We got the Super Nitro RS4 Lambo body. I'm not embarrassed. Do I look embarrassed to you? Let me, let me flip this camera. Let me flip it. You see that, guys? That's how I live my life. Oh, Austin T, $5. Thanks, you bro. He goes, have to get in on this, man. Thank you, thank you, my dude. Uh, guys, did you just see what it looks like? I got my swim shorts. I was actually gonna go run that uh, Traxxas Nitro V the other day, but uh, it got cold outside, actually. And I, I changed my mind. We got Nitro motors, three-speed babies all around the house. You know, it's, it's how, we, how we live life. The Nitro gang lifestyle, it never ends. Unlike, you know, the typical run of the Arma gang, which ends almost instantly when they strip a diff on their second jump. Okay, I've seen it happen. I could say it. Okay, it's legit the way it is. Okay. All right, let's go back to uh, the magazine and then we'll talk about what else we got to talk about. Oh, we got the Kyosho information right here. We're going to talk about this over here. Don't, don't look over here. Are you looking? Don't look. We're, we're still talking about this. Okay, we're gonna put the sticker over here. By the way, a Nitro Gang member made the sticker for me. Uh, I appreciate it, thanks so much, it's, it's, it's pretty cool. Vincent Martone goes, sickening clacks. Yeah, it's all about those sickening clacks, guys. Um, let's keep going, HI Dash. I actually have the box to it right over here. I'm not gonna show you because I have some socks uh, nearby. Well, you know, we can't have like, just in case people named off the chicks are watching this channel, can't show them socks. Okay, you, you gotta be proper. Let's keep going. What else we got over here? Uh, what is this, RC Sparks? Is this the RC Sparks channel? Where he goes uh, and digs for fake gold somewhere in Canada and then claims to uh, abandon his channel? 
and then come back. No, this this not RC Sparks, guys. Don't worry. The Nitro Gang is never going to leave you. Okay? We're always going to be here. I'm never going to say, hey, man, I'm upset. I'm leaving. No, I just don't, don't like it. Well, it's not going to happen. Okay. Let's keep going. Hobby people. They had some really good prices on stuff years ago. Yeah. Oh, man. Here we go. Bruckner Hobbies. This is a hobby store, actually, in the Bronx, New York. Uh, I did a video a while ago where I had a former employee and a friend of mine, um, you know, work. Uh, well, they did a video with me, and he worked at this hobby store. This was a serious race store at that time. Like, people will go here to get upgrades, you know, because they sold. Like, look at look at the listings. They have Paris Racing Products, Novorossi, Trinity Pico. They have, you know, Novorossi, Mega Racing Engines, Kalari. This was 2000's Nitro, guys. Yep, Our Mark Schumacher, that's right, RC Sparks, 3 million subscribers, exactly. The guy cries and says he's going to leave his channel, and then, and then shows up with, like, dumb-looking crawlers somewhere again. Who cares? Okay, okay, here we go. Oh, where, where are the rest of the chicks at? Oh, we got some chicks right here. Uh, people in the house. So this is XXX Main. They used to make uh, decals, right? So they actually also used to make cool videos of RCs. Right here, they have a video. Now, I'm hoping one day to find one uh, for sale on eBay and play it. Um, you know, I'll risk copywriting it, but it doesn't matter. Man, they had some awesome chicks right here. Right over here. Look at that. She got a trophy. What do you think she got a trophy for? Paint masking kits? I mean, I don't know. I, I, I just don't see it. I just don't see it. Anita Longass goes, what is this talk about a new Savage? Okay, so for some of you that just came, let me give you a catch up about the new Savage. So, you know, while we're here. So today, printed this out. This is the current ad that HPI posted on a new Savage. We're just doing a little bit of a recap right here, guys. So this is HPI's Instagram page. Uh, once again, they posted HPI Instagram. You see that right here? They posted a picture where you can't see anything other than an outline of something. And they say nothing. And of course, I trolled them. I said, tell us what this is. Why are you trolling like the Tinder girls? Nitro for life or strip diff electric lipo power? Question mark. So they didn't respond, of course, because, you know, they think they're better than a Nitro gang. They don't want to release any information because... Um, probably gonna have to troll them again. So, they released this today. Picture of some kind of truck with the word Savage. Now, clearly, after doing some investigative Nitro Gang journalism, this was the article, the only information that is uh, out about it. So, on the bottom right here, this just came out today, guys. Um, just came out today. So, it says, We hear there is crazy power under the hood. But does that mean 6S brushless or even higher cell count? So they're basically saying, are we getting 6S or are we getting more S? And my answer is, well, I can't headbutt it right now. But my answer is basically, uh, they're not making Nitro great again, so they could suck it. Okay, there we go. I said it, and uh, YouTube could do whatever you want. Okay, so we're, we're going to go back to some uh, XX main chicks right here. We have no choice. They're here for a reason. Okay? Yep, RC Crazy Mike goes electric these days. Exactly. Yeah, it's basically going to be all electric. So the only nitros you're ever really going to see that are super cool are the Savage XL K5.9. You see that? Take a look. And that is what you call a three-speed baby. Okay. We're almost on to the uh, USA 1. Don't worry, Grandmaster Yoda. I got you, man. I got you. We're almost there. We're almost there. Let's keep flipping, and then we're going to talk about the USA 1, guys. So this is uh, blah, blah, and more blah. Okay. This is New Era. Super high-end RC products years ago. So New Era used to make a lot of cool dragsters. They also had a couple fit scales and quarter scales. So let's see what uh, if I can find the prices on some stuff right here. I actually used to have a New Era conversion kit years ago. No, in this case, they don't have it. Mm, but New Era was basically very, very cool years ago. Let's see. Are there any more chicks in this magazine? Oh, here we go. Acer bearings. Guys, I, I knew it. There's always going to be 
bearing chicks. There's like three types of chicks in this magazine. The ones with like tires, the ones with bearings, uh, and ones with offnas. Okay, so this is what you call the Acer bearing chick right over here. It says head off your competition. Man, they got some they got some slogans going on right here. I don't even know what to say about that. Um, maybe Al Snow. You guys know what I'm talking about? Al Snow from wrestling? Al Snow would have to say something about this right here. Yeah. Bearing chicks closest to 10, says off the chicks. That's right. Yeah, the bearing, the the, the bearing chicks, you really want those bearing chicks. Like th those are like the hottest uh, close to 10 ones. The off the ones are usually like, you know, eight to nine. And then like the wheel ones that like five to six. Okay, but the bearing ones, they seem to be the, 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 the smoothest, so to say. Okay. All right. So this is the end of the magazine here. What's this guy? We don't know about that guy. So, and now, and now, let's uh, take a little bit of a uh, flip here. So, guys, multiple types of RC chicks. We understand. If you ever have the opportunity, you really want to go to the bearing ones. Okay, it's in your best interest. All right, let me put the camera back over here. And in a minute, I will talk about... The last topic here, um, the USA one and what's going on. And should I order it? Will they ever ship it? Who knows? All I know is we got a Nitro Gang mug right here and it's available for sale. Get one. I usually drink coffee out of this in the morning. But for now, we're going to drink some uh, energy drink. Okay. Nitro Gang mug. Okay. Here we go. By the way, guys, I want you to know, for those of you that love the, the magazines, I have probably a never-ending supply of vintage RC magazines from about 1997 to about 2007. What I like to call the most important years of Nitro. Okay, because that is when, um, you know, the RS4 came out and the RS4 really became what what people you know what got people into nitro because it was accessible it was cheap hobby store supported it it came as a ready to run it was it was easier okay so sweating pretty good over here okay uh pyro tony right here says hybrid get a giga crusher i'm sorry my bro i can't afford that this this channel don't have the profits for that There's, it's just not in there i'm sorry it's just not written in the nitro stars so to say Okay, what I have money for is used Savage XLs, and I actually got lucky when I bought this like three years ago. Okay, I bought this from a person that really didn't know much about it. I had to do a whole bunch of repairs, but uh, it's here today, and I could start it up anytime and yell three speed baby. Okay, I actually had to rebuild uh, the transmission multiple times. Um, anyways, people telling me right here, Iron Wolf Play says. Get a Hyper 7. A uh, Hyper 7 is cool, you know. Um, I mean, I just hope it comes with an offner chick. I don't know if it does, but it probably doesn't. But if it does, I'll definitely get it. Uh, the thing is, like, they're rarely even up for sale. Like, I, I have almost never seen it, okay? Anyways, on to, let's see, on to, oh, hold on, before, before, before we get on to the Kyoto USA 1 discussion, I think I'll show you guys a new design. What I came up with. I might try to put this on a shirt again. So this is the current shirt, right? Nitro Gang and uh, Two Speed Baby right here. You can get it uh, in the link right below this video. In fact, let me see. Let me see what we got going on here, guys. Let me move this up back a little. Whoa, whoa, we got stuff. The question is, if I attempted to crush this with my head, would I cut myself? I don't know if that's a risk worth, worth taking. But maybe it is. Okay. So Kyosho USA 1. So this is the current printout of the stock status from Tower Hobbies.
So I'm honestly kind of surprised. It's only $499. Now it says right here, let me see, right over here. I'm gonna point it to you guys. Next ship, next ship, next shipment, October. Uh, uh, next shipment, October, what does it say? Yeah, October, 2021. So they're saying they will be available. This is the Kyosho USA one printout from Tower Hobbies. Okay, guys. Now I'll be honest with you. I've been checking the stock status on this particular truck ever since they announced it in like June. I even made a video about it. Many other people made a video about it. The thing is, my video was like, listen, and I got, I received a lot of haters for it, but I still think I am still correct to this day about my original assertion. My assertion was, listen, Kyosho discontinued the Mad Crusher. Now they're releasing basically the Mad Crusher again with a much, you know, uh, I guess different body with a bunch of stuff sticking out of it that looks like a retro body. But why did they cut the Mad Crusher? The question is, when is the USA one going to be available? And I said all of this back in like June, guys, in damn June. Now it's September and every month that I check for an update, every month they say that it's next month. It's been like this for about four months so far. Now, I know some people have already pre-ordered it, but I just don't know if they're ever going to be in stock. What do you guys think about that? Now, the price, I will say $4.99 is, is fair. So the old Mad Crusher was uh, about $4.39 on the same retailer. So I'm using the same retailer retailer for, for everything, okay? Uh, just so we have like a fair price comparison. So this is $4.99, the old one was $4.39. I don't know, what do you guys think? I'm gonna go look uh, in the comments now and I'll read some of them so everybody knows later on when they're watching this video. Um, people saying, Grandmaster Yoda say, says, I've been waiting for like four months. Exactly, yeah. Pretty much everyone is saying they're, they've been waiting for about three to four months now. And it's just, I don't I don't know if they're ever gonna be available to be honest with you uh rc crazy mike says man crusher three speed baby well i want you guys to know that just because kyosho is not going to satisfy the nitro game just like probably some of the chicks in the magazines would not in real life obviously not the ace or bearing chicks those are very good top-notch ones often the chicks would agree i'll show you right now what i do have okay let me just get it hold up a second you know, I got nitros under the table. There's like a damn nitro troll under the table handing out nitros to me. And this is for RC Crazy Mike because he said a magic phrase, which is three speed baby. Okay, and Austin T, this is for you too. So get ready. What does this look like? This is the Dan Kyosho Fox, okay? Uh, yes, three-speed baby. So even if Kyosho doesn't release the USA one or if it's an indefinite, you know, uh, pre-order status, we don't care. RC Crazy Mike and everyone else, we got a Kyosho three-speed baby. Now, the only problem is, by the way, this one is, uh, is actually very cool. I'll show you right here. Uh, we got four-wheel steering. Do you see that four-wheel steering? Who else has four-wheel steering in a nitro monster truck? I don't think anybody. Well, this Kyosho Fox has it. So this is basically a Mad Crusher, and it's exactly the same chassis as uh, the USA One. So other than the body, this is a USA One uh, chassis. Well, more or less, okay? So let me show you. So it has a very cool clamshell design like this. So you have two clips in the front, clamshell baby open her up and then you take a close look let me move the savage give you guys a close look so this has the three-speed baby right over here you see what i'm talking about three-speed baby problem is no engine that's right there's no engine and you might be asking yourself well why don't you just stick an engine in here how hard could it be the problem is this thing is a Kyosho. There's no parts for them. I need, other than a proprietary engine mount 
and a proprietary engine, I would need the three-speed clutch bell. That's right. So the three-speed clutch bell, I looked it up. Uh, it, it's almost impossible to get. There's like one of them last time I checked on eBay in Japan. It's in Japan, guys. Okay, so what I'm saying is, yeah, RC Crazy Mike says, you surprise me every time. Yeah, bro, we got four-wheel steering. Okay, solid axles. Look at, look at this, look at this. You know, when I say we're gonna make, we're making nitro great again, that means I'm buying a whole bunch of different used nitros. It doesn't mean I'm just gonna say it and move on. No, because it's not what we do. Either way, Kyosho Fox, it's gonna be running as soon as I locate a three-speed clutch bell because I'm not spending $60 on a three-speed clutch bell, okay? At that point, I'm probably better off buying the Kyosho USA one and just using this as a parts truck. But other than that, man, check check this out. It's, it's, it's honestly a very cool, like this Fox design, look how cool it is. It even has a wheelie bar in the back. It is, it is, yeah, people really liking it. Yeah, it looks like everyone says they like it. I mean, how could you not, you know? Three-speed baby, chain drive. Okay, clamshell design. Look at that. Look at that. It's a freaking Kyosho sandwich in here, guys. Kyosho sandwich. All right. So, question is, how many more nitros do I have under the table? Hey, troll. Get, get me that other one. Come on, troll. Uh, the, the troll took, some, took a lunch break right now, actually, so we're not going to get any more. All right. Man, I'm going to have some crazy cleaning to do later. Crazy cleaning, guys. Crazy cleaning. Yep. So, this is the, the news, right? Kyosho stock status, October 2021. Where does it say that? Right over here. October 2021. Hope you guys could see it. $4.99, good price. Problem is, that's Kyosho. We don't know if we can actually trust them or not. Okay. Yeah, uh, Iron Wolf uh, plays here with a good comment. He says, sadly, at my hobby shop, they are only going to be selling the electric USA one. Chances are, yes. I just, that is just how I see it going. Okay. And, um, you know, Tower Hobbies, I'm hoping if it's in stock, I will order it. You know, it's a three-speed baby. I mean, what can I tell you? We're building a three-speed baby arsenal. So you gotta, you gotta have them all. There's really no other way around it. Like the only, if you think of it, I'll have Schumacher three-speed, I'll have the Savage XL three-speed, and we'll have the Kyosho three-speed. There's no other way around it, guys. Okay, so uh, we'll, let me just update a couple people here that just joined the Nitro Gang live stream. They're asking questions here in the comments. I will update you. Uh, Kellen's Automotive says, did I miss the Savage talk? Just joined in, so I'll give you a quick update. And I'll tell you right here, this is the picture from today's uh, HPI's Instagram and Facebook page post. They released this picture with the word savage and a picture of basically a black truck with uh, no details of any kind. Now, if you go back earlier in the stream, you'll see a cool Instagram post where I trolled HPI, made fun of Arma while I was doing it, and I told them to tell us what it is. Now, of course, they did not respond, and we have no information. But all, all, informa all I guess, um, clues point to this being a 100% all electric. In fact, there was a little bit of a, uh, a news blurb right here in the Big Squid RC. Now, at the bottom, it leaves off with saying, there's only one question. Is it 6S or, or more S? So what they're saying is Nitro is out of the question. Kiss Nitro goodbye. HPI is here to make electric. I don't even want to say great again because it was never great. It never will be great. And they could suck it. Okay? That's that's what I want to say to them. Uh, they didn't respond to my to my comment. But you know what? We have ourselves other HPI savages. They still make the Savage 4.6. Now it would be great if they released an updated model. You know, I don't know why they don't. And then let's face it, nitro trucks basically use the same exact engines in every single car. It's basically been the same for the past 30 years in terms of nitro engine technology. 
So what else could I tell you? Yeah, Shane Nitro in my vein says that's a great pick. Yeah, you know, yeah, you know, they, 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 they did a good pick and I used it as the thumbnail to this video because why not? They put the work in, they don't want to give us Nitro, so I stole their picture. Okay, I stole it. They don't deserve, uh, you know, to, to own this picture. It's a freaking electric, who cares? You know, look, look at this, basically tells you nothing about it. You know, how dare they? Piss, piss me off. You know, I actually saw a post uh, today in the, my own Nitro Gang group on Facebook where people were like talking about it. Problem is, it's electric. So get ready to be angry, okay? Yeah, RC Showoff says they need to update the 4.6. I agree, I agree. But I'll tell you this, we should still be happy that they haven't even discontinued it, you know, at all. Uh, RC Crazy Mike says, hold on, I got a, sorry, my battery went flat. Did I miss anything? Well, you just missed me making fun of HPI's all electric fleet in the future. Basically, I did that for a little while. Um, talked about, you know, if you're trying to get some chicks, make sure they're into Acer bearings. Those are the top priority chicks right there. Very, very good. Okay, super reliable and the best, so to say. Uh, of course, Acer does have the best bearings, so who are we to say no, they do not? They do, okay? So, what else we got going on here? I'm going to go to the comments here, and uh, we'll talk a little more about what's on everybody's mind, so to say. Okay, let's see. Yeah, Pyro Tony says, HPI is turning to Arma. Well, you know what? That's the market, guys. That's the market. Like, that's that's the market. Like, I don't know what else to say. You know, it's neither good or bad. It's just unfortunate for those of us that are uh, on the opposite end, so to say. Because what winds up happening is the few nitros you have left, they start pricing them like sky high crazy. And then, you know, there's always going to be people that want to buy them. But, you know, there's always... Um, it, it, it's just not it's not it's not great for people that want more nitro uh, the only way to get more is to spend less I mean am I right or what like th there's no other way um, Daniel David Brown says Jado good or bad Jado is a top dog it's top king speed number one best there is best there was best there ever will be in terms of uh, speed so yes the Jado is awesome um, I almost guarantee you no one in this chat now will say the Jado is bad Okay, because Jado is king. It is actually the fastest brand new Nitro RTR you can buy today. So just walk around saying that to people. They'll be like, what is that Nitro? They'll be like, well, this is just the fastest brand new Nitro or RTR you can buy today. That's all they need to know. There's not going to be any follow-up questions, okay? No follow-ups. All right. Um, yeah, is the T-Max good? T-Max is uh, basically uh, awesome. You know, I'll never say any Nitro is bad. So guys, don't even like, you know, oh man, another donation from RC Crazy Mike. Thank you, my dude. Thank you, 10 pounds. He goes, three speed baby, Kyosho Gearbox. I will note they donate to Nitro Gang. Just message me somehow. Right, so I guess RC Crazy Mike wants to see me restore that Kyosho Fox. So the problem with that is, <laughs> I might actually be better off getting a brand new USA one because Price wise to restore an old Kyosho, you basically have to buy that brand new one, you know, and, and, and like get a parts chassis. It's 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 one of those things. Yeah, so people in the chat here are saying they want me to get the USA one. So how about this guys? I'll tell you this. I'm currently in the process of like at least five RC deals. Of course, people are like ghosting me left and right more than like the Tinder girls. Um, so I'm in the process of like five different RC deals, of course, all of these deals have OS engines because I don't want really anything without OS engines. So OS engines for life, just know that. And um, so right now, you know, they're all asking for too much money. They're not working with the Nitro Gang at all. So um, if those deals don't go down, I'll just start saving up for uh, the USA one when it is in stock. You know, that's that's how it is. Yeah, the online hobby guy goes, get those OS engines. That's right, guys. That's right. So anytime I have the chance to get an OS, I take that chance. <laughs> what can I tell you? Best engines ever. 
Exactly. Uh, Iron Wolf, Wolf plays uh, says people want too much for for Nitro these days. Yeah. So th these guys are not even negotiating with me. Like it's basically. But you know what really kind of pisses me off is the 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 thing is they have ads where there's like two pictures, and basically me as the buyer, I'm taking a risk. You know, there's no info on compression. There's no info what's included. It's just like a picture of the car without the body. So of course I'm gonna lowball you. You know, because I'm I'm making my my uh, you know offer based on what I see. That's what the buyer does. You make an offer based on your per perception of what you're what you're getting. You know, if they had good pictures, good descriptions, the cars were clean, then there's something to talk about. This other guy, you know, currently like on a Facebook Marketplace. Uh, I guarantee you, he don't watch this channel, so it don't even matter. You know, the, the car looks like he used it as a lawnmower. Okay. There's so much grass all over everything, and it looks like it's been stuck to the T Max for like 10 years. You know, I offered the guy like 150 bucks, basically. He goes, No, not enough. It's not worth more than that. You know, there's no info on the on the condition of the motor. Nothing. You know, so basically when you're buying a car like that, you have to to be on the safe side, assume that you're gonna need an engine rebuild. At best, you're gonna need like a used engine from somewhere for like $80. At best. You know, this guy, he's like, no, it's worth more than that. That, that means nothing. You, you could say anything, you know. You're not taking anything into account there, you know. Yeah, a downline hobby guy goes for 200, better be restored. Exactly. This is like an old 2.5 T-Max, you know, the old one. With, with, it looks like so much grass, you honestly cannot tell the color of the cooling head anymore. Okay, that, that is beyond, uh, you know, anything going on over there. Yeah, uh, we got a good question here from channel member Vincent Martone. He goes, how do you keep track of all of the ongoing projects spreadsheet? So basically what I do is when I take a car apart, let's say I have engine parts or whatever, uh, when I'm done for that day and I'm waiting for something, you know, I'll just put it in, in a, in a see-through bag, like a Ziploc bag, and I'll just put it next to the car. So all the parts that came off from the car will be on the car, you know, like in the body or whatever, I'll just like flip the body around and I'll put the parts in, in the body. So there's no way you can mix them up. Like in a Nitro, there's only so many items that, you, you know, based on process elimination, you'll know where the screws go. You know, it's not like on a motor, it's basically all the same screws. Let's say you have four of the same exact screws. You know that those four screws are either the cooling head or the back plate, sometimes the post start assembly, sometimes the, you know, but they're all different diameter sizes anyway. There's really no way you could make a mistake on that. Okay. Anyway, guys. Um, Evan Mullaney says, anyone here into GS Racing? Uh, currently, I, I have never owned the GS Racing. Uh, I think ever. So, you know, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, people saying, Iron Wolf Play say, says, I saw a Jado for 900 bucks. Yeah. Some people have like these, these crazy prices. It's like a portion of you is like, wh what are they trying to do? No one's going to make an offer on that. Like, you know, nobody. Okay. Anyway, we have a new Nitro Gang logo I designed. I've been sitting here with it. I might try to make a new shirt with it. Now, the last Nitro World Order logo I had, which, you know, it got banned. It got removed. So, I cannot use it. And I cannot wear those shirts anymore. So, this is the new logo. It's a little bit different. You guys tell me what you think. I might make this into a shirt as well. Boom, what do you think about that, Nitro Gang? So we got my face in the W, the NWO with the Nitro Gang. Man, I think this is kind of good, I don't know. What do you think about that? Would you, would you buy this on a shirt? Let's say we had this on a shirt right here. It would look like this, you know? What do you think about that, guys? The question is, will this get banned? like my other shirt did. So I don't know, I, I, I would think that this really like, th th there's no copyright infringement at this point. Like I've edited, edited this picture so much that like if, if they claim copyright infringement, I don't know, man, I'm just gonna get, I'm gonna be really upset. There's really no recourse I would have anyway. But um, yeah, David Brown says, why did NWO get banned? So basically I had the NWO design like also with like alterations, different colors, this and that. And it got delisted, cannot do anything with it, and uh, ba-boom, see you later. 
they said, good luck, Hulk Hogan, put you in a headlock, okay? We don't want Hulk Hogan to put me in a headlock these days. Okay, he's an old guy. He, he might die. We don't know. Okay? Yeah, exactly. The online hobby guys goes, you're covering the WL. Exactly. Like, this was basically my old, my old design was uh, the N, the W with my face, but without the Nitro Gang on it. And with the, with the O. Oh, oh, it's right over here. Sorry, it's, I'm looking in reverse kind of. It's a little complicated. Um, so what we will see. I will try to load this as a shirt design. And uh, any other words, like tell me what words you guys want on the shirt. I'm thinking, of course, you know, the classic two-speed baby will be right under it. We don't know. But maybe we want Nitro World Order. I don't know. But I don't want to risk saying World Order. What if, like, the Hulk Hogan fans try to get me? You know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, basically that's what it is. Uh, Evan Mullaney saying, I want to buy a Nitro Gang necklace. Well, it's very easy. You get yourself an old XCM engine, the worst one you have, and then you put it on a chain. <laughs> it's very easy, actually. <laughs> just a joke, guys. I'm just kidding around with you. Um, yeah. Uh, RC Crazy Mike says, how long will I have to wait for your Nitro Gang mug? So this is the mug he's talking about. So uh, these are available, they're like $15 right now. Uh, so on the front you have the channel name and the word Nitro Gang. And of course on the bottom you have Two Speed Baby. You can get this in a different color other than black. But like be aware of the way the colors will look. Because the Nitro Gang logo is actually also inside, has its own black background. Okay, so be aware of how it's gonna look. You, you can get it in like a different color. There's like shirts like like this with whatever you know whatever color you want so personally I think this is a really awesome shirt I'm honestly very surprised like uh, you know it's actually very good but like uh, they call it heavyweight quality something like that so you know they, they print these up like in batches it seems like I actually had to order my own and I got my shipment within like a little over a week so it wasn't it wasn't that bad like you know it's it basically a like customized uh type of stuff so you know how many people are gonna order them it's like maybe once you know a couple a week they're gonna print them in like a batch that week uh there's a warehouse in in the uk and the usa for nitro gang uh merchandise so to say okay by the way all the money that that gets made there all of it gets 100 percent invested back into making nitro great again okay uh, and we're gonna do that by locating as many orphan chicks and bearing chicks as we can in magazines. We're gonna do that. What's up, Oscar Quendo? He goes three speed baby. What's up, my dude? And uh, we're gonna buy nitros. Currently, as I said before, yep, nitro lives matter. Oh man, that might get me in trouble. Bo body worn Bobby goes nitro lives matter. They definitely do, bro. They definitely do. But like in my location where I live, it is a very very. Uh, I'll say it super liberal uh, arena super liberal you know probably gonna have to fight, fight people if that if that goes down okay uh, we don't want to have to do that all right all right guys so yeah nitro lives meter 100 <laughs> percent I'm thinking of uh well maybe some armor gang uh, in in, uh, you know, Arma Free Zone. Maybe, what do you think about the Arma Free Zone? But the thing is, like, uh, outsiders are not going to know what you mean by the word Arma. So it might not be funny to everyone else. Um, we have to come up with something that, like, people will want to ask you about. Like, what, what are you wearing on your shirt? Like, with this logo, they'll be like, what the hell is the Nitro Gang? And who's that crazy cyborg looking dude in the middle? Okay, if they say that to you, I'll be proud. If I get called the crazy Nitro Cyborg dude from a picture, I have no problem with that, guys. That's a freaking amazing statement, okay? <laughs> All right, give me a second. I have to plug uh, plug my camera in here. It's about to uh, it's about to die. Okay, we don't want to have n nothing dead here. Here we go, and we're plugged in. 
I think we're plugged in. Yeah, we should be plugged in. So, guys. Uh, we got a question here from Tegrity RC. Let's, let's see if all of us could answer this together. It's about a carb question. So, Tegrity RC says, um, is the carb from a Mach 427 engine a 3.4? So, the, the 3.4 is the low C carb. Usually, that, that is the carb that's used on um, like any Traxxas engine as an upgrade carb. So do you guys know if the carb from a Mach 427 is a 3.4? I do not honestly know if it is. Uh, people are saying yes. Yeah, people are saying yes. Uh, from my understanding is almost all of the .21 size and up engines have the same uh, diameter carb of Venturi anyway. So probably, you know, I don't want to confirm that because honestly, I, I almost never uh, change carbs because my goal on this channel is... Uh, Basically make nitro great again, but also keep them stock. You know, personally, I don't like to do a lot of modifications because it changes the original character of the RC. Uh, when you're destroying the Arma gang, wherever you are, you want them to know that you don't even need any modifications to take them out. You took them out with a stock vintage nitro because then they'll actually know what's about to go down. So let's see, what, what's the consensus uh, on the carb? Honestly, you really need to just like try it out, I think. Um, I'm not really sure, um, you know, to be honest with you. But from my understanding, all the 21 and up engine size, like the carb opening is the same size. On, on modern engines, that is. Okay, oh, Oscar Aquendo wants rich and loud shirts. You know what, maybe, I, I will come up with that. I will do something, okay? Yeah. Okay, guys. Right. I'm not, I'm, yeah. So carb questions are one of those things where you really need to do trial and error because the fact is like how many people are actually, you know, constantly changing carbs and engines. The number is actually very low. You know, it, it's not as high as you might think. Like that's a very specialized questions and only people that have done it with those exact parameters would be able to give you a good answer you know let's see what else we got over here yep yep hats people talking about rich and loud hats you know what i i i will see if i can design a hat i don't know if a hat is available currently like the merchandise uh product line is like you know t-shirts phone cases mugs mugs like this nitro gang mug uh, two-speed baby mug, so to say, and we, you know, it, it's like that. It's it's a little on the limited side. I think they have pillows also. Um, yeah, fitted hats. RC Show Off says he wants fitted hats. Okay, I'm gonna look into it, bro. Yeah, yeah. Curtis Baker right here says I still run the old OS CVR 18 engine. Well, bro, that's because he can't kill nitro. The 18 CVR is probably the best engine ever made. Oh, RC Crazy Mike right here. I'm going to read this comment because it's a comment that I like. He goes, how's your Lincoln hybrid? Still going strong? That's right, bro. I'm never going to give it to that Lincoln, guys. So in the last stream, I, I started my Lincoln up. It's a 2004 LS V8. Um, pretty rare car. And I'll tell you why they're rare. Do, do you want to know why they're rare? It's because they're all broken. Okay, I currently have one of the last ones probably in America. That is not busted, okay? Because I keep it clean and actually my daily driver is a Prius. So to have an old luxury sports sedan like the Lincoln LS V8 with a 3.9 small block, you really need to also have a super reliable other car, which is like a Toyota. That is just how it works, okay? Yeah, uh, Dale right here, channel member, says, I'm gonna read this, Lincoln Mark 8, Mark 7, no, that's a Mark 7. With the 5.0 is the beast, is the best. Yeah, that's an older generation Lincoln based on uh, the Mustang chassis. Am I right? Yeah, it pretty much is. I actually love those cars, but like, well, I'll never get one of those. They're, they're, they're all destroyed by now. You know, my, uh, yeah, basically, yeah. So, so the Lincoln I have, it retailed brand new. I have the window sticker. $50,000, guys. Somebody paid $50,000. Now, do you want to know how much I paid for it? 
when it was exactly five years old. It had high miles though. So you guys tell me in the chat here how much you think I paid for a $50,000 MSRP uh, Lincoln LSV8 when it was five years old. High miles, of course, but this was it was it was in 2009 when I bought it. Guys, come on, what are you talking about? Five hundred dollars, fifteen hundred? Come on, it's a high-end luxury car. It's a five-year-old car. Iron Wolf with a good estimate. Dale with a good estimate. RCC show off good estimate. I'm waiting for the numbers to come in here. Man, you guys, you you understand the depreciation? Let me just give you the depreciation figures on a on a normal Japanese car in three years is about 44 percent. So let's figure 50% in, in three years. I bought the car, uh, <laughs> 10 million right here. <laughs> I bought the car five years old, but it had high miles. Ideal condition, uh, ideal, it looked like it just came off a showroom. V8, good tires, good brakes, uh, good cooling system, only started leaking later, okay? <laughs> That's a joke. So $6,000, I paid 6K. So basically that means the car depreciated 90% in five years. Okay, that's what you call American luxury. They're very good used cars because you can get a, a killer killer car for cheap, but of course depreciation, you're basically buried in that car once you buy it. There's really no resale value ever. <laughs> you know what I mean? So you basically gotta write it out forever. Either you or the car die first, pick one, okay? Okay. Later, Lawrence Winter. Thanks for joining the stream. Okay, I'm, guys, I'm going to answer a couple more questions here. And uh, for now, let me just once again tell you, if you want to get the HPI Trophy Truggy right now, it's available. So the current price is 609 right? The Trophy Truggy 4.6 is actually the same engine as uh, the Savage. Right now, there's a link in the description to this video. If you go all the way to the bottom of the description, I put a link to save 150 freaking dollars. Okay, so go do it. Uh, the current price, four fifty nine, guys, for the Trophy Truggy four point six. I mean, you, you know, you gotta do it. You gotta do it. You know. Yeah, online hobby guy says he had a Lincoln LS for a couple of years. Yeah, once you have airbags going off in a car, it's over. Here in America, airbags are substantial damage. I actually used to be a, a car dealer years ago, and whenever we had cars that came in on a trade with uh you know airbag deployment that was over we wouldn't even accept them because like big dealerships they don't even take them on trade because uh they can't sell them basically at that point the cost to like go through whatever they had to do was so huge that it was just we wouldn't even take them as trades now of course i'm talking about a new car dealership that you know would take trades to sell you a new car we're not talking about like some side street dealerships that could do whatever they want but the practice at that dealership was any air any airbag deployments or any kind of like title issues like that, other than accidents, uh, we wouldn't even take that car on trade. You know, even if they wanted to, like even for a little bit, just they just wouldn't do it. Okay. Anyways, all right. Bye, Evan. Hey, see you later, my dude. See you later. Yeah, Alex Lopez says you liking that K five point nine. Uh, he's talking about the Savage right over here. So this thing is basically a beast, guys. It, it's a beast, okay? Um, look, look, look at this. Well, what's there not to like? Look at it. It's a damn Savage, okay? Uh, it's pretty heavy. I gotta say, though, like these wheels, they're called the, para, uh, the Terrapin wheels. Terrapin. Like, even at high speed, guys, like I was doing 46, like top speed like that. The, the wheels ballooned a little bit, but... I never felt like it was gonna be over. Like the thing still kept going, like nice, solid, and straight. Like in my opinion. Okay, so these wheels and they're actually very light, and the foam, it is. Let me see. The foam is a really well, like I would say, um, the firmness of the foam is ideal, in my opinion. And usually, I actually hate pin style tires, like. Any tires that have pins like this, I usually hate them. The reason is they wear super quickly. But these, I, I've honestly ran the Savage a good amount of times. I've done a lot of videos on this. And I do not see any signs of wear anywhere on these tires at all. So you just can't, you, what's the conclusion? You can't kill this Nitro. Can't kill it. Can't kill Nitro. Okay, if you want to get armors, you're going to be replacing wheels all the time. Okay. So that's, what, that's what's going to go on, guys. 
Um, uh, RC Crazy Mike with a question here. He goes, arm still painful after vaccine. So it's not too bad. Uh, I really don't feel it now. But like for the first two, two to three days, man, it was like, it, it was actually hot here and I woke up and I needed like an extra blanket. Like I was, I was sh shivering at night. Okay, of course we didn't have any Ace of Bearing Chicks here uh, at all. Zero Bearing Chicks in this house. But it, it was, it was like, I had like uh, night sweats for the first two to three days. Okay, but uh, now after about four to five days, it's, it's, it's okay, no, nothing hurts. Okay, yeah, Curtis Baker says Nitro takes the pain away. And actually right after, this, after my uh, f first shot, right, the Johnson Johnson one, which is uh, here, you only need one dose, so it's super strong. I came home and I did a live stream, you know, and uh, it helps me kind of take my mind off of it, you know. Uh, what sucks is, like, I'll tell you this, you know, so at my job, are you ready for this? So there's no actual mandate to get the vaccine. There, there's no mandate, like, they can't mandate you. But what they did do is uh, they made it fairly uh, difficult for you to keep not getting it. So the policy is every week you need to get a test and it's not like a rapid test. The test is like one, the one that they sent to like um, the lab and it takes about four to five days. They told me at this lab place next to me to get it back. So technically for me to have like some kind of time span to get tested every week like that would be nearly, it would be very difficult. So, you know, it's not like it's 100% forced to get it. Now, I'll tell you this, guys, I'm not an anti-vaxxer. I do believe in it, but the thing is, I already had COVID all the way at the beginning. I actually recorded videos while having it because I didn't know I had it. My symptoms were so weak that I thought like I had a small cold, okay? But that doesn't mean that it applies to everybody. Of course, that would be silly. Then I would be a science denier. But um, the thing is, basically, they made it so inconvenient to not get the vaccine as per like the rules now, that it would just be very difficult for me to, to go forward and every week have to like go to this terrible urgent care. Everything now here in America, basically like years ago, people used to go to hospitals all the time. Now, a lot of the healthcare segment sectors like privatized and they opened up uh, like these urgent care facilities that are ran by, there, there's no real doctors there. They're like PAs, they're called uh, physician assistants, basically. So they can prescribe medication, but we're talking like minimal stuff, you know? Like you have a fracture or something, you can go there, you have like some kind of, the, the basics of medicine, so to say. We're not talking about like, you know, serious issues where you're like, you're about to die. No, you know, you're talking about, you make an appointment online, you show up. It's, it's urgent care. So if you need like, you know, a prescription for an antibiotic, Basically, honestly, I think the whole thing where you got to go to a doctor to get a damn antibiotic prescription is, is nonsense. You know, if you feel like you need a damn antibiotic, you should be able to go buy it at the damn pharmacy. Okay, why do you need to go? Do you know what my deductible is for going to, to an urgent care? And I have very good insurance, guys. Very freaking good insurance. Okay, my deductible is $50 to go to urgent care. Now, if I go to the emergency room, doesn't matter what it is, uh, $150 deductible. And I have a very, very good insurance, like one of the best federal insurance programs, okay? And my deductible is $150. That is actually what I spend on almost all of my used nitros. That is like my average going rate on, do you want me to show you what a $150 deductible is? I'll, I'll, I'll show it to you, hold up, hold up. Savage X 4.6, I paid 150 for this. So every time that I need to go get some kind of prescription and it's like nighttime, you have to go to the emergency room. There's nothing you can do. Uh, I basically have to give him a Savage every single time. That makes me very angry. Okay, guys? So what do you think about that, everybody? Yeah. Anyway. You know, plandemic, people are saying. Plandemic. That's a good play on words, actually. Very good play on words. Yeah, pandemic. <laughs> yeah yeah basically that's what it is um you know it, it, it it's not good or bad those are just facts you know i'm sure there's some good in it there's probably more bad in it but those are just uh, my observed facts so to say yeah exactly 
Uh, okay, we got a good question here. Many people have actually asked me this. So low 97SS asks, what is the significance of the number 32494? Okay, so many people think that's my birthday, but it isn't. 324 is my birthday and month. Okay, so March 24th, that is my birthday. I'm a damn Aries. If there's any Ofna chicks or uh, Acer bearing chicks watching this, that's my birthday, okay? Tell me if we're a match. 94 is a different number. It's not my birthday. So it's it's something else. Yeah. Exactly. So that's just what it is. I don't know. Um, also, the whole the whole thing with like the term vaccine, you know, it's not an actual vaccine. It's more or less like a um, a flu shot. When you get a flu shot, let's say, you're not guaranteed not to get the flu. You're guaranteed to get a mild form of the flu that your body will basically fight off because it's a mild, a weakened strain of that year's chain, right? Uh, infectious chain. Basically, it promotes an immune response. And that is exactly the same way that they describe the COVID vaccine. You're not guaranteed not to get it. They're just saying you will have a higher immunity. Now, I think in the, in the um, um, history of humanity, there's actually been only one actual virus. We're not talking bacteria, we're talking virus that's been eradicated uh, through the use of a antiviral medication. And that was, I'm pretty sure it's polio. Polio is the only one. Everything else that we treat today is more or less bacterial style infections. So when you get antibiotics, that's all bacterias bacteria, you know, killing bacteria. Now to kill a virus, you gotta understand, the only goal of a virus, it's a living, it's a, it's a cell, right? It's a cell, the viruses are cells. The only goal of a living thing, as we see throughout all life, you could see it in trees, you could see it everywhere. The only goal is to adapt and survive. Now, you could technically explain that through evolution, right? When you see a tree growing on the side of a hill, what does the tree do? It grows, you know, towards the sun. It'll, you'll see the tree growing on a diagonal, basically. Oh, well, based on the ground. Why is it growing on a diagonal? Because it's trying to get more sunlight to beat other trees, to get more sunlight, to get more resources. Exactly. Um, RC Crazy Mike, yes. So basically, you know, you're not guaranteed not to get another strain of the COVID when you get what they dubbed the vaccine. I'm not saying it doesn't work. I'm saying that it's probably about equal to getting it naturally and then having your body develop antibodies and fighting it off. Now, of course, every year, statistically speaking, the strain will be different. Okay, so just like the flu shot, you get a flu shot annually. Now, I actually, the only time I ever got it, I got the flu, I almost died. But either way, um, never, never again. Not saying that I don't believe in it. I'm just saying that it's one of those things. Anyways, we could have this conversation for whatever. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, we got a great comment here from X, 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 G, L, H. If I get a 10K stimulus, I'll get Vax and buy nitros. Exactly, my dude. So, guys, in New York City now, they provided, they gave everybody a $100 uh, incentive. A $100 in a preloaded card to get the vaccine. So uh, I did get it, you know, I haven't used it yet because honestly they make it so hard to use it because it's like an online digital card. You need like a whole bunch of account information. So they did pay people a hundred bucks to actually get it, okay? You know, I, but basically I had no choice, you know. Anyways, RC Crazy Mike says, talk about Nitro. Let's do it, my dude, let's talk about Nitro. So uh, another interesting conversation topic we could have is the current state of uh, prices. Let me adjust the camera a little bit. Uh, different. So you guys noticed the prices of all nitros going up. I have, uh, especially Losi, to be honest with you. So Losi recently, even on all their buggies that they keep selling, we're talking like, what? what is their cheapest Losi buggy now? It's probably like uh, 479, I think, right guys? The one that used to be 350. So what I'm saying is, if Losi is selling a buggy for 479, that's like a 0.21. 
yeah, people here in the chat saying most he will not. Yeah, because they, 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 they don't care about us. So, uh, adjust the camera here. If Losi is selling a buggy, which used to be the $350 buggy, exactly, uh, someone already here in the chat, how come Kyosho is only asking $499 for this? I don't know, man. I, I just, I don't think Kyosho actually has any real plan to actually sell this. I, I just don't, I just don't know. Because like when they announced this, I did a conversion on the USA one uh, from their website. And the conversion US dollars, like at that time came out to about 700. And at 700, it seems like a believable price because all nitro is going up. The Savage is 700 bucks now, right guys? I just don't know, like all nitro is going up. Of course, electric went up too. You know, the other day someone commented in a video saying uh, all armors also went up in price. Well, the thing is, I actually got nothing for that because like, why do they need to have price hikes if they keep selling you diffs for people that strip them? They got all the money in the back of diff chain. They got the damn diff chain going. You know what I'm saying? The diff chain. You know, if somebody ever came up with the idea of wearing strip diffs on their neck, on their neck like I do, well, motors, they'd run out of chain. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. So, oh man, Iron Wolf Play says the stock Jade on Australia is $900. Holy moly. Holy moly. Yeah. So yeah, people are now confirming. We got Super Bazooka here saying 469 for a low C8. And that's the cheapest one. So the one that used to be 350 is now 479. So we're talking what, like a 35 or so percent price increase? I mean... You know, if Kyosho actually sells this for the price they're selling, they're saying they're gonna sell it at, you know, it, I, I will be surprised. I will be very surprised. And uh, a while ago, Tower Hobbies actually used to use, uh, allow you to use coupons on the Kyosho brand. So at one time before they discontinued the Mad Crusher, uh, you could have gotten the Kyosho Mad Force for like 380 after a coupon code. Now today, we'll be lucky if the Kyosho US, USA one even ever comes out, okay? It, it is highly doubtable, I would say at this point. You know, we have like announcements from HPI, you know, from HPI saying new Savage, look at this, new Savage from them, new Savage. The reality is no info and it's a damn electric. So there's no new nitro, there's no new nothing. Okay, pissing me off right over here, pissed. I wish I had an electric RC car action magazine to, to, to headbutt, but I don't. Oh, hold on, I do, I do. I do have one. This is the last one that I headbutted, 100% all electric RC magazine. This is what we're gonna do to it. See that? That's what we're gonna do. Pissing me off over here. Anyways. Yeah. Yeah, RC Nitro Flux says Banggood's still selling nitros. Uh, yeah, they still have some, but like I checked, the ones that I bought a while ago are actually now gone. So that 1.8 scale Nitro Short Course is gone. Um, HSP, uh, someone here saying, let's see, let's see. Uh, Reagan says, got my Nitro HSP off Amazon for a little under 300. Well, that's basically always their price. You know, that, that, that is basically always their price. Like, they used to be, like, in the low 200s, the HSP Nitros. So, you know, under 300, is, it, it's still statistically one up, so to say. Okay? Yeah. All right, guys. Yeah, RC Crazy Mike, I did a headbutt for you, bro. I did it. Don't you worry. I, I headbutted it pretty good. So, now, let me just check the current Nitro Gang group. We're gonna do a live check um, of the Nitro Gang group. We're gonna see if we got any more people to wanna join. Let's see what we're going on here. I'm going to refresh this page and we'll see if I admit some people. Actually, I might even post a link for those of you that are not here. Oh, we got nothing. I'm gonna post a link right now. Hold up a second, hold up a second. I'm gonna post a link in the chat. 
for you guys to join the Nitro Gang group where I am the admin. You could feel free there to make fun of Arma, okay? Not of other gang members, but only Arma. Understand? So I just posted the link. People saying yes link. Well, I'll post it again, guys. I'll post the link again. Join the Nitro Gang group. You know, I personally made that group. I'm honestly not like a Facebook guru. I don't really care about social media. I only care about making Nitro great again and buying more Nitros. Okay, that, that's all I care about. But the thing is, this other group, the Nitro RC Enthusiast page, which has a whole bunch of members, pissed me off uh, because, you know, they told me not to post my own Nitro videos. What's the difference whose videos they are? Basically, what they're saying is, if somebody else posted your video, well, that's okay. What's the difference who posts what? That's like saying, you know, you can't read, let's say you're an editor for a magazine. You can't read your own magazine, man. You just can't read your own magazine. You got to read other magazines. Can't do it. Oh, off the chicks there. Says, I just joined the group. It's great. That's right. So I'm going to check right now. I'm going to post it again right now for those of you that might have missed it. And uh, I'm going to go check right now. I might admit you into the group right now. Okay. So let me refresh it. And we will see who requested to join. Okay. I'm the main admin. There's like one other person there. Uh, he's sometimes active. He's not active, but he, the other admin is uh, pretty much a Nitro Gang expert. He used to work at a very high-end RC uh, store, actually Bruckner Hobbies. I talked about it before. So he's pretty much an expert as well. Okay. I'm going to refresh this page. Let's see how many people joined. Okay. So far we got one. So you're going to hear yourself. We got Brandon Southwick. My dude, welcome to the Nitro Gang. I'm going to approve you. Are you ready for this? You're approved. How does that feel? All right. I'm going to check a couple more times and then we will know where the Nitro Gang is at. Actually, do I have any messages here from my uh, uh, marketplace people? No, basically nobody wants to sell me anything right now. Pissing me off right now. That's actually, actually pissing me off. There's a nice, let's see. Do you guys want to see one of the listings I'm looking at? I'll, I'll show you one of the listings, okay? Literally as I'm looking at it right now. Now, I haven't been able to make a deal with this dude, but if you guys want it, make the deal. Go buy it. But the deal is currently not being made right now. Oh, we got a new channel member. What's going on, Christopher? Thank you and welcome to the Nitro Gang. Hold on, I'm, I'm still going to show you. We got Christopher Morris, Nitro Gang fan. Thank you, my dude. Yeah, by the way. It's like a $2.99 a month membership. That's $2.99 a month membership, okay, to make Nitro great again. And you get like specialty uh, logos by your, by your name when you chat. Uh, you get the use of the special Nitro Gang emoji. And you get response, uh, pri priority response to comments. Because like I have a filter that uh, I could filter out all of the members, uh, you know, comments first. As you can imagine, I have over a thousand videos. It's actually kind of difficult. Uh, it's actually kind of difficult to respond to a lot of comments, but I do my best, you know, as I can. Okay, so I'm 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 going to uh, see uh, in a second. Hold up, hold up a second. Uh, Pyro Tony right here says, "Let's see what is what does Pyro Tony says." Uh, Pyro Tony only got a bunch of stuff. I can't I can't find it right now, my dude. Hold up, hold up a second. We're going to uh, refresh the page. Hold on, hold on a second, guys. No, hold on. This is the wrong page. The wrong page. Okay. No. Okay. We got two people. We got Darren Daz. Welcome, my dude. I'm going to click approve right now. I just clicked approve. And we got Michael Boria. Big fat approve to you, my dude. I don't think anybody has ever approved people into a Facebook group in a live video before half day. I don't think so. Well... You guys are awesome. So let me show you the deal that I'm currently looking at right now. Let, let me load the pictures here. Hold up a second. Um, one, one, one sec, one sec, one sec. Uh, I'm going to take my phone and I'll show you guys. All right, you go with that? You'll be good with it. What do you care? Okay, we got no other solutions. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys exactly... Um, well, the desktop of my computer. Feel free to spy around on my tabs. There's a ton of tabs. You're not gonna figure nothing out. 
Okay, okay, I'm gonna show you right now the RC that I'm trying to buy and where, where I currently am or am not. Let me flip the camera right here. So this is the deal. It says RC Nitro 110 scale. The price is 250, so it's not that far away from me. It says uh, Brooklyn, New York, so it's that's pretty close. So information, no information. It says on road with an OS 18 CBR Max. Now I could tell that it's a RS RTR3. So it's actually uh, a very nicely hopped up. I could see a whole bunch of mods. We got a fuel filter. A uh, weird thing is all of these mods and we have a stock pipe. That is that is just so weird. Oh, what's up? Kellen's Automotive. Welcome to the Nitro Gang fan status. Thank you, my dude. I appreciate it. Big thumbs up. Big fat thumbs up for you, bro. Okay. So uh, the RC deal right now. The guy's asking for 250. You guys let me know what you want me to bid on this or not. I don't know. I'll, I'll put it in your hands. You know, whatever money I get here, I'll go to trying to buy this RC. So what I can tell right now, it's got a two-speed baby. RC Crazy Mike says, yes, baby. So guys, look at this. So this is the car. We do have an air filter. We do have an OS. Weird thing is we have a stock plastic pipe. We have a whole bunch of, bunch of big fat aluminum. Let's go to the next picture. There's only two pictures. So this is the other picture. Uh, clearly, the guy spent a ton of money on a super fuzzy picture. Like this, this picture could not get any fuzzier. And also, you know, uh, a bunch of pointless aluminum upgrades. I could see it has the Fly Sky receiver, the, the three channel one. I don't know. So what do you think I should offer, guys? I, I'll tell you right now, I already made an offer on this. If you want, go buy it. You know, I'm currently not in the proper offer status with this guy. So what do you guys think? Let's just check the Nitro group here. We'll do a refresh and we'll see how many people we got. You see right here? This is the member request. So we're going to see who we got right here. You're going to see yourself. Oh, we got Steven Warius. Look at that. Look at that. Approval live, baby. That's right. So this is the Nitro Gang group. Let's just go to the page a little bit. No, you're not going to see nothing. This is just folders, guys, and screenshots, okay? There's nothing interesting here. Feel free to look around. We got ZD Car, Mavic Mini, Nitro Music, Traxxas, Buggy, Menace 21, yeah. The, the, you can't spy on this. The Nitro Gang, we, we got everything covered. So we got, you know, we're almost at 1,000 members right here. What else we got over here? Two Speed Baby people posting a bunch of cool stuff. This is the picture from the Savage. You guys see this? This is where I got it from. Oh, what's this? Is this a picture of someone? Oh, yeah, this is a picture... Uh, oh, James Elson, what's up, bro? Hanging with the Savage in the live video and chat. Dude, this is awesome. We're watching a picture of me, someone watching uh, in the video. You just can't beat that. You can't, you can't beat that. This is why you got to start your own damn group when people piss you off. Okay, so we got some new people uh, right here. We got a Revo in the post. Oh, man, right here, someone posted. Eric Almond, watching hybrid now. <laughs> Super Bazooka 213. Man, this is funny. Uh, we only had 88 at this time, but that's cool, man. This is what I actually look like. That's a bad screenshot of me. Don't show this to any orphan chicks, please. Okay? Yeah. Okay, so we got people in the prices coming in. Uh, oh, man. Tony Northrop right here. More pictures of me with some, uh, I guess he has some awesome bones proof in, the, in front of his computer right there. That's pretty funny. I like that. Okay. We got James Hicks right here. Uh, bearings besides buying a new bearing it's a question right here we're not gonna reply this is the savage post from before by the way in the nitro gang group this is the post about the new savage which basically is trash okay it is total trash joseph Watkins, what's up bro you got the twin jados in the house oh more pictures of me oh it's the same picture anyways this is my own uh link to the nitro gang live right over here uh pyro tony says go up and see my mgt Tell me where to stop, bro. I'll do it for you. I'll do it for you, okay? You ask the Nitro Gang, and we'll do it. I don't know. Like, everyone's feed is organized a little bit differently. So I don't know if I, I'll actually see it here, my dude. So, yeah, everyone's feed is... Let me let me click see all pictures. Where's the MGT you want to show me? So I don't see any MGT. I'm sorry if I'm making uh, kind of mistakes right here. Oh, by the way, this is for you, RC Crazy Mike. Check this out. Uh, rig detailing right here in the Nitro Gang. He just got this Pro 70 Thunder Tiger EK4. RC Crazy Mike, what do you think about that? 
Thunder Tiger EK4, just for you, bro. This is the one I was just talking about in the in the magazine. Let's see another picture. This is uh, I guess he just got it right now. Uh, Traxxas Jado picture. Yep. Look at that. Thunder Tiger. Look, look at that giant ass cooling head. It's insane. And by the way, uh, 0.70 engine, guys. 0.70. Oh, we got people. Oh, awesome HPI RS4. I'm just gonna go through a bunch of pictures here. Why not? Oh, these are like old pictures. Let me. Uh, no, I don't think they're old. What am I talking about? We got some uh, people picking up HPIs right here. What's going on, Ruger's Curiosity? Oh man, we got uh, Scott DS right here, one of my friends. How you doing, Ruger's Curiosity? You got unboxing stuff, man. People posting some pretty cool stuff here. People uh, dealing with like engines, T Maxes right here, man. Nitro gang material, man. You just can't kill it. Just can't kill it. Right there, James Elson. Let's see. Awesome, awesome. Let me do a last refresh here on the on the page. We just had Nitro Gang member Mike uh, trying to buy this HPI RS4. Yeah, so the guy's asking 250. I offered like uh, I think 150 or something, and the guy basically came back and told me, "Bro, the engine is worth more than that." So I don't know, man. Like when I get a response like that, why doesn't the guy just like you know? Listen, the engine is worth more than that. So what the hell does that mean? Like, you know, I mean, he spent a bunch of money to make an RS4 like this. Oh, oh well, the RTR3 would probably take. Um, oh, Mike Neves, $5 donation. Thanks, bro. He goes, need to find the dirt tracks. I got you, my dude. We will, we will, we will hook you up. Yeah, so I don't know. 250 for something like this, it, it's, it's worth it. It's worth it. But like, you know, for me... My price would be at most 150. What do you guys think? At most, my price for two pictures with a description like this. You know, I honestly cannot even tell if it's a pull start. It probably is a pull start. But, you know, no info. It, it, it is worth the money because everything on it is super premium in terms of upgrades. No, you know, he didn't even show the bottom of the chassis. Like, come on, dude. C come on. What do you guys think? Am I being a little crazy? I mean, how, how much you think I should offer for that? I offered like 150 total, like that, that that's it, you know? Yeah, Ruger's curiosity goes, how hard is it to take a good pick? Exactly, like if that guy doesn't like do any effort on taking any normal pictures, like I'm gonna offer at max 150 because that's the risk I'm taking, you know? Just dude, like, come on. What? And he responded to me like, like he, you know, he's saying the engine is worth more than that. Well, you know what? Get out of here, bro. Or, you know, I'm not gonna deal with that. You know? Your, your only job as a seller is to make sure that the item is properly advertised. Like, dude, 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 dude. Let's see. Okay. Let me refresh uh, the, the group here again. And then we'll uh, talk a little bit about stuff. Yeah. Vincent Martone goes, yeah. Blurry photos, dirty or up close photos. E exactly. Like, you know, at least tell me what, I mean, I know what the car has. I could tell it's worth, it's worth the money. But the thing is, you know, I don't 100% need it. Like, I like it because, you know, it was my first Nitro. It's a Nitro. It's an OS engine. But um, it's just, yeah, yeah. It, it is worth a lot of money. I, I will, I, I will admit that. But, you know, to me... Yeah, people are saying 150 no more. Yeah, exactly. Super Bazooka saying, yeah, 150 no more. Yeah, this, this, you know, this guy, like, he wasn't even negotiating. Like, he just goes, the engine is worth more than that. Like, like, I don't know that. I know that. It doesn't matter what the engine is worth. That's like saying, you know, you know, I won't sell you this junk car for $500 because the transmission is worth more than that. That might be true. But guess what? You're not buying a transmission. You're buying the entire car, and that is what you're getting offered, bro. Okay? Yeah. I'm not even going to offer any more to this guy because, like, you know, usually, like, the, the thing, the way this works, like, you almost always know whether you'll make a deal. And I'll tell you guys how. Like, you could have an offer, like, submit an offer, right? If the person comes back with a counter offer, then you know. Even if you're far away, any counter offer you know that there's a probability of, of making a deal. This guy, you know, his response is, the engine's worth more than that. You basically have nothing at that point. Guaranteed you got nothing at that point. Let's see. 
So at that point, you might as well discontinue any conversation and, and move the hell on because you will not have a sale with a person that uh, takes pictures like that, tells no info because, you know, like only he knows how much he put into the car. Like how you expect a buyer to know that? You can't do that, my guy. You can't do that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Ruger's curiosity goes, plus it's good to go for a stanker. Yeah, that's funny. That's uh, about the other car. We were, let me see. We got a little bit of a freezing problem going on here. Yeah, yeah. Mike Mike Neves says yes. Two pictures seems kind of sketchy. Exactly. And also, by the way, I don't want to say this before, but if you look up the area of Brooklyn where it's at, that is a Sketchville area. So if you go to probably in some of those areas, you should have some kind of very very sharp screwdriver in your pocket. Okay, I have actually been to certain locations, I'll tell you right now, uh, where I had very pointy objects, like screwdrivers in my pocket, just in case. Because a lot of times, you're, tr you're basically trying to buy something that could be stolen. Okay, sometimes people have, you know, ba basically they know nothing about the car, they either found them or they stole them. Like I've, I have almost guaranteed bought stuff from a person that I know for a fact, you know, they know nothing about it. Now, how could they know nothing about them? Did they find them in the garbage? Well, I never once found anything in the garbage that was worth, of, that was valuable, like a RC. It has never happened. So that cannot be option A. Option two, they were doing, they were painting a house and found it. Now, this dude did not look like a house painter, okay? He had pretty good baggy pants on. Anyways, I can go forever on this. Uh, RC Crazy Mike says, welcome to the EK4 family. Yeah, Ruger's Curiosity, Gun Laws in New York. Yeah, they're, they're basically, no, no, they're, they're, no, that, that's a no. Uh, and it's not an option. Um, yeah, yeah, exactly. A Sergio M says, smoke that guy out, ask technical questions. So I actually did ask the guy whether it has a pull start, and he goes, yes, it has a pull start. That was the answer. Yes, it has a pull start. The thing is, like in that picture, you couldn't tell. Like, I don't want to buy, uh, you know, a car that needs a, uh, a starter box. I just don't want to do it. You know, that's extra money for me. Anyway, let me go to some of these comments and then we will discontinue the stream for the day. Um, exactly. So, I want to say thank you all guys for uh, coming here. All the Nitro Gang donations, highly appreciated. I want you to know I'm always working on a couple deals at a time. And uh, sometimes, you know, I got to let him go. Sometimes I got to make him happen. If for some instance, some dude reaches out right now and says, okay, let's, let's make the deal happen. I'll go buy it. But unfortunately, right now, we got ourselves nothing. Actually, hold on. What is this? We got... Uh, Oh, it looks like we got a, a post here from a pretty famous Nitro Gang member. I am going to show it. I am going to show it. You know who you are. Uh, off the chicks already like the post. So this is top priority. I'm going to have to take the phone and show it. I have no choice. Okay. You guys. Oh, phone problems, phone problems. You all need to understand that Kyosho was super cool long ago. So this is the Kyosho uh, go-kart, it looks like, right? So this is the Baja Beetle, the Baja, the field Baja Beetle, the one I have. And this is a vintage, what is this, a Kyosho go-kart. I'm pretty sure this is a Kyosho go-kart. Uh, yeah, I could tell by the fuel tank here. So this is a Kyosho design right here. The online hobby guy goes, hell yeah. That's right, bro. Yeah, everybody wants it. Actually, nitro go-karts are super, super rare. I used to have a Turnigy electric one. But, uh, yeah, really nothing better than the nitro one. You know, they have they usually have, like, a solid rear drive. So, drive-wise, not ideal. Everyone's liking the, the car. Let's check out the comments, right? Uh, off the chicks, so cute, man. Typical off the chicks comment. The best comment ever. That thing is nice from Callan Callan. Uh, Callan Gonzalez, awesome. It's a cart, it's a nitro, it's a nitro go-kart, baby. <laughs> Eric Almond, love this. It's badass for sure. And someone is typing a comment. What are you guys going to say? Let's see. Let's see what this is. 
I'm surprised. I'm gonna surprise myself. Hell yeah, that's right. Yeah, <laughs> man, you guys are cool, man. Yeah. Let's see if we got any more uh, people to join right here. Okay, no more Nitro Gang requests. But you know what? It's okay. It's okay. It's no big deal. Let's go back to the stream. By the way, this is, uh, you see the lag right now? So the lag right now is about, I would say, 15 to 20 seconds of what is actually being said and what's on the screen. So that's what it's like. So guys, I think another successful Nitro Gang stream, you know, we're about to uh, call it a day, so to say. I want to say thank you to the two new channel members. I highly appreciate you guys supporting the Nitro Gang. All of that money will go towards making Nitro great again. Now, if I somehow go live in an hour from now, you'll know that I'm on location with some money, with a screwdriver in my pocket that's very sharp, probably in a bad area, trying to make a deal go down. But you know what? When a dude shows up wearing this, like you're not, you're not gonna mess with them. Like you're just not gonna do it. Okay. That's it, guys. A couple more comments here. I'll read them and uh, we'll say our goodbyes. Okay. We'll say our goodbyes till next time. So let's see what we got over here. Oh, go fast. RC says I joined right at the end. Well, you know what, my dude? I'm gonna go check, and I will admit you right now, because you deserve to be admitted on video. Okay, so right now I actually don't see anything. There's no requests. Well, we're gonna check later, okay? We're not gonna, we'll, we'll, we'll check in a little bit. Right, let's go back uh, to the video here. And yeah, off the chicks. <laughs> Is that a screwdriver in your pocket? Well, currently I am not in a bad neighborhood trying to make RC deals with people that know absolutely nothing about their car that statistically means it's stolen. Okay, so currently, that is not a screwdriver in my pocket, off my chicks. That goes for you. Okay? Yeah, the online hobby guy goes Schumacher Menace. Um, so I have two Schumacher Menaces, and both have problems. So those kinds of chassis are the kinds of cars that you need three spare parts ones to run one. Okay? I need a freaking diff out drive for the front. Can't find one. Somebody a long time ago said they would send one in the mail. That was months ago. Okay, no parts. Parts free baby. Okay, so to say. Hybrid 316 two speed baby. That's right. All right, guys. Yeah, Mike Neves says, uh, by the way, Mike Neves is uh, actually, he lives uh, relatively close to me. We're both in the same overall area. And uh, he says, sums up New York City. That's about right. <laughs> Top level confirmation. Yeah. Uh, Ruger's curiosity right here. He goes, I need a spare HPI bullet. Yeah, bro. I know exactly what you mean. I actually have one right over there, like right behind this camera, but uh, it's a little dirty with like socks there next to it. So I can't, I can't be showing it because we have like certain RC branded off the chicks in, in, in the stream right now. We got to be proper with those off the chicks. You never know if they're going to know those Acer bearing chicks or not. You know, they might have an association with them too. Okay. All right, guys. Thank you all for watching. I think uh, we've said our goodbyes. This video is like over two hours. And um, I still have some Chinese food from earlier today left. So I'm going to go enjoy a little bit of awesome Chinese food. Yep. Yep. Um, so RC Crazy Mike has some awesome RCs coming. So guys, uh, make sure you, you know, look at all his posts in the Facebook group because... I almost guarantee you, we will probably never see RCs of that caliber, like that uh, Kyosho Nitro go-kart. Probably never going to happen, right? RC Crazy Mike is Michael Boria, M Michael Boria on the Facebook group. I just showed his post a little bit ago. All right, Pyro Tony, I'll see you all later, like one more minute, and then we're all going to do what we always do. And you know what that is? Make Nitro great again. And by the way... One final look at probably the new proposed Nitro Gang logo. I will try to make a shirt with this. And it's going to be freaking amazing, okay? Because people are going to be like, bro, what, what is this cyborg Nitro Gang guy? I'm going to tell them this is the two-speed baby Nitro Gang cyborg, okay?
What else you want? So Savage, they screwed us. They're going to make it electric. I, I got nothing else to say. NWO, Nitro game. Nitro World Order, baby. Okay? Yep, the online hobby guy goes, save the Nitros. Yep. Yeah, Ruger's Curiosity. Yeah, join Insta join the whatever it is. You know, I'm not much of a social media dude uh, myself personally, but it's the way of the world, so to say. Um, there's nothing we could do. We either play along, you know, properly, or, or you get left behind, you know, so to say, unfortunately. Uh, RC Crazy Mike goes, thanks, Hyper, for showing this bug on live stream. Fell in love and purchased one just after. You got him, my dude. You have any questions on that Kyosho uh, Field Beetle, you ask me because the sickening clack on the transmission, as soon as you start it up, you'll understand exactly how sickening that clack actually is. And I'm hoping um, maybe this weekend I'll do a video with me trying to actually run it. Man, it, guys, it's not that easy to run a car without brakes. That when you, you know, because you have like an instinct to go like this on the, on the, on the, on the remote to apply brakes, but it's actually reverse. <laughs> yeah, so Mike Neves is going to be uh, with me in a live stream. Mike, Nitro Gang Mike right here with a Revo. Hopefully this weekend. So guys, don't miss it. We're going to be yelling two-speed baby, Nitro Gang, wearing shirts, going whatever we want with screwdrivers and pockets. That's about it. That's about all I got to say. Okay. That's it, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I'm going to go now. I want you all to go get yourself something to eat or drink and work on your nitro. I'm out. See you later.